Good evening and welcome. You blink once, you blink twice, and boom, it's Monday. I figured out that I didn't implement the chat, so let me do that on the fly. No biggie. It's another Monday night filled with technical difficulties, but hey, at least we got the shout out app to work, and all of you guys are like, hey, but that worked last time. Yes, I know, but it won't work next week. <laughs> All right, but that's that's the story for next week. Next week we're playing Wolfstein, the Old Blood, also known as the standalone prequel that comes before or after, just depends on how chronical you are. Wolfstein, the New Order from 2014, and that one is am both of them are amazing. So next week we're gonna play through half of that. That's something I promise. How's everybody doing on this lovely Monday night? If you think that I'm a little bit uptight tonight, or a little bit itchy, then that's right, because I freaking burnt my back in the sun this weekend. I'm like a 16-year-old not listening to his mother with sunscreen, because I, I smeared it all up until the watch, though. So I burned a little bit of this as well, and a little bit over here as well. But that's already... Well, that gone away pretty quickly, but maybe... Just maybe... Oh, you can see. Well, you can see it. The chairs in the way. Well, if you want to see a picture of it, it's on Discord, and it's it's horrible. It doesn't really hurt that much, but it's just after four. Well, after two nights of sleep, which you can call well sleep. I don't know if you can call it sleep. It is itching like a motherfucker, and that's always after two nights. So, yes. I've got to flip myself. <laughs> Toasty! Alright everybody, welcome to the live stream. I see some familiar faces. Uh, I just took some paracetamol because that's the Dutch trick to not getting... <laughs> not being heard all the time. Alright. Time for a round of shoutouts. How's everybody doing? As you guys know, um, I played The Incredible Machine 1, I played The Incredible Machine 2, I even played Sid and Al's Amazing 2 Machine for a little sh for a little bit. Well, we played all kinds of games. We even played The Return of The Incredible Machine Contraptions. That game is a one-on-one -on -one remake of The Incredible Machine 2, because when The Incredible Machine 2 came out afterwards, they made The Incredible Machine number 3, and The Incredible Machine 3 is the exact same game as part number 2, but that one runs on Windows 3.1 with better music, so they upgraded the music, but it still contained the same exact same puzzles and puzzle pieces so it got criticized a little bit for not being new bye um same thing happened with return of the incredible machine in the year 2000 or 2001 i'm not sure they remastered the game they gave it shiny objects they gave it a new well a hud overhaul and it looks crispy it looks neat it looks it looked more modern it fit the whole windows xp era <laughs> to be honest but Again, no new puzzle, no new puzzle pieces. They just took the old game and made it in a new artwork, in a new style, I guess. But it's still pretty cool, I really enjoyed playing it. But because they got criticized before uh, for that, they um, decided to make another game. And that one is called, bear with me, The Return of the Incredible Machine Contraptions Even More! <laughs> in 2001. And... I so happen to have barely played that one. Another point of criticism, it only uses the same parts, but all of the puzzles are new, except for the tutorial puzzles. Those are the exact same as The Incredible Machine 2, 3, Contraptions, you name it, it's the same. So we will be skipping those, at least I'm planning on skipping those, unless you guys want me to play the tutorial levels. You know what? I don't mind playing them, I'm gonna put it in a poll. Um, for you guys, let's have a look, and then I'm gonna welcome all of you. Um, tutorial... Tutorial... Puzzles... Yes, please. No. Start with easy. Alright, the poll is up and running. I'm gonna let you guys decide for like a few minutes. And that's what we're gonna do. 
And I don't mind starting with the easy puzzles nor the uh, tutorial puzzles because some of you might not be familiar with the incredible machine nor contraptions then it's pretty pretty good to to start off with the tutorial puzzle so you guys can see what the pieces do though I have to say if not you can well I mean we're starting off with the easy so how hard can it be I think it's time to start off with a bit everybody look they got new cans they look weird but it's okay they taste different have to get used to it. But I bought some of the old ones again. <laughs> I got a guy for that. His name is Aldi. <laughs> so yes, I'm a bit crispy. I got sunburned to the back. Like a 16 year old. I'm ashamed. And that's why all the time I'm, I'm scratching like this. Because I always scratch with the back of my hand like this. Just rubbing the back because if you scratch you only make it worse well everything you do you'll make it worse so all right already 22 votes are in that means we're gonna start off with the easy puzzles at least 59 percent of you guys think so well i do not burn particularly easy alexi but i have to say i burn easier than maxime because she's well she's used to something i'm like the factor 50 guy she's like the factor 30 girl you know <laughs> I already burnt my foot in uh, Spain three years ago. That was really back. Bad. Really? Did I say back? But before we start playing uh, Contraptions, next week we're playing Wolfstein uh, The Old Blood and it's gonna be a lot of fun because I won't be there. So thank you Aquitic for broadcasting it for me. Once I attended a one hour outdoor ceremony my forearms looked like they had been grilled. Well, I do not particularly get sunburned easy, though I have to say it's it became easier if I compare it because those those computer screens they do not bring me a lot of UV, you know they do not they they don't sell them with those, <laughs> and if they do, everything will become so purple. All right, I think it's time to end the poll, or at least. You can still make up your mind right now. Change your mind. 57% thinks we're going to start with the easy puzzles. You really want me to start with the easy puzzles or the tutorial puzzles? I'm going to leave it up to you. One more minute. I don't know, Alexi. Oh yeah, Ricardo. I even got burnt in my hair, but... That's not really a thing that's that's an issue, I guess. All right, I'm gonna close the poll. You guys have three minutes. That means we're gonna start off with the easy puzzles and I've never played them before, but how hard can it be? You know, I think we'll manage. Thank you, 23 of you for voting. Let's just start with the game, I guess. Hate! I'm not sure why the shoutouts are all the way up there. Oh, the shoutouts are not in yet. This is one of my old layouts. Uh, play the music. S delete this. Add the shoutout thingy. Wow. I came prepared today. Shoutout app wasn't working. It was horrible. I'm not sure what went wrong. Oh, maybe I can limit the shoutouts to the. Oh, that can be nice. I'd say happy to hear that Aquitics is recovering slowly as well. The layout you're looking at is the main menu from The Incredible Machine 1, a little bit altered so it would fit the live stream. And you are looking at a little bit insert CD ROM. All right, here's another example how you know that I do not test my games. <laughs> Well, at least, not much. Boom! Phew! Sierra! Look at these 3D rendered stuff.
All right, if you're not familiar with Rube Goldberg. Welcome to the incredible machine, even more contraptions. Hi, I'm the professor. I'm talking to you from my secret laboratory hidden thousands of miles below the Earth's crust. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Yeah, he's, re- he's got radiation. Mel Schlemming into the fourth dimension. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right. Anyway, uh, poor Mel. Star apprentice. So I'm giving you my toughest challenge yet. If you can solve all of the contraptions I've got waiting in the invention factory, you'll earn a diploma, becoming a doctor of contrapology. Just click on one of these signs here to get started, and good luck. All right. Fun thing is, oh, the game is a bit loud, but I, I guess it's okay. I'll over, I'll over level it. You got the puzzle swap button, and that does nothing anymore because you could exchange homemade contraptions. So listen, if one of you guys have this game, and I'm not sure if it works with the original contraptions as well, the return of the even, well, the return of the incredible machines contraptions, without the even more part, maybe, maybe somebody could make me a cool puzzle for me to solve at the end of this live stream. How about that? I'm willing to do that. And this one even features a how to build contraptions. Um, quick introduction, how does it work? I'll show you. You got a wall, you got a ball, and the ball falls on the wall as soon as you start the contraption. In between, the contraption is remained stuck. So, or paused, just how you want it. So you got this teeter-totter, you got this balloon. All right, let's put the balloon here. Uh, then you got this, um, let's say, a switch, like an electrical outlet switch. Let's put that like this. Let's have some pulleys, like put a pulley here. So that means if the ball will fall in the teeter-totter, it will um, pull the balloon down. At least I think so. Yeah, I think so. And when it pulls the balloon down, it will turn on the electrical socket. And that means the fan will start blowing. And that's how the whole game works. I said <laughs> that's how the game works. Put in another pulley, I guess. What krijgen we now? It doesn't work! Put a bowling ball on it! What? Oh, come on! Alright, I'll think of something else. Delete this. Put in the... Boopity 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 boop. Where is it? This thing. Yes, this device. Alright, here we go. We're gonna do this my way. Um... Connect this to this, rotate it to that, yes, like this, get the rope, connect the rope to this thing, now it should work, put in a balloon, like that, and put in a cat, like this, fuck you Curie, here you go, krijg me nou, how werkt het niet, ah, Here we go! Now! What is this now? How oh, merk it niet? <laughs> what? Alright. Then you have to be more creative if it doesn't work. Then let's do it like this. Half the bowling ball just roll down. Like this. Hit the bumper, yes, like that, but a little bit more like this. Hit the mouse, yes, this is gonna be awesome. Hit the mouse and make it run. Hot save! <laughs> Everybody wins! I didn't think I was connecting it right either. So that's how the game works in a nutshell. Time to start off with playing the easy puzzle, but before we do so, we need to sign into our account. My name is Bacha. Don't wear it out. So we can start off with the tutorial, but you guys have voted. We're not going to play the tutorial levels. 
Thank you for trying anyway. We're gonna start off with the easy puzzles, since the tutorial puzzles are the exact same as the other ones in the original game. So the first easy contraption is called <laughs> Miraculous Mouse. You're about to begin solving contraptions to earn a doctorate of contrapology. Here are some general tips to help you. When you first load a contraption, always start it first to see how the parts placed on the playfield interact with each other. All right. Read the goal, then work backwards. That's a good tip. Try to place things from the parts bin with their logical partners, like a laser and a mirror. Mirror! Try to get as much stuff out of the parts bin as possible onto the screen. Don't be distracted by decoys! Look for obvious places where a part fits, like a hole in the floor or... Alright, enough hints. Help we can do this. Mouse get to his mouse hole. Alright, we're gonna stuff a mouse in its hole. Alright, first tip. Just play it. Nothing happens. Not much. So we got this mouse. What do mice like? They like cheese. But they can see through walls. Exactly. They just smell it. When it's on their horizontal level, they'll always make a run for it. Alright, so you got scissors. Let's cut this rope. Then the balloon will escape. Hit the mouse. The mouse will start... The, the mandrel, well not the mandrel, but the mouse motor. Alright, so you got these. Mm -hmm. I think that fits there. I like it, how they use the background scenery. Although, on some versions of the game, it's a little bit... I'm not sure. Um, it's like the color is gone, washed out. Alright, I think this should be it. Um, we need to figure out a way to get the mouse. Further along the road, maybe by doing it like this. Ah, that's better. A little bit more. Ah, maybe, maybe put the cheese over here so it will fall. Like that. Patsy! Um. Wait. Maybe, maybe do it like this. This is one of the easy puzzles. Hi, hi. Something's not right yet, though. Um. All right, let's ignore the cheese. There we go. Alright, first puzzle is a fact. Confetti for me. There's no peanut butter in this game. Hey AJ, 26 months? Wow. I love the support guys, really means a lot. Mel, blow up all three blimps. Alright, we're gonna start off with some explosions. Heat. Een bloemetjes gordijn, een bloemetjes gordijn. <laughs> oh yeah, they added a little bit of extra music to this game. Een bloemetjes gordijn. Hats, hop. Translation: a flower curtain. Ooh. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen with Mel. Mel. <laughs> what went wrong? Well, this needs to be here because they, we need the rocket. Launch the rocket. Oh, look at that image with the clouds. Different detail of clouds than in the game, though. Why does he fall off? Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe do it like this. Can't imagine that that helps, but... Ah, so that's what happens. Alright, enough Bloemetjes Gordijn. Next. 
Help the dreaded pirate Mel fire the cannon and break the fish tank. All right, they really outdone themselves with the, the background artwork. I'm not sure if Timothy is here, but hou hem nog even je broek. The pirate flag, it's so good. Bye, Mel. Um, let's see if we can do something with the basketball. Launch it on the teeter-totter. Hop! Yeah, that's precisely what I will. And let's explode the fish tank like this. Put it somewhere around this place. Look at the crab, he's holding a book. Ah, come on, pixel perfect. Oh, Mel is getting impatient. Put the cannon a little bit up. I know, pal, but it's the almost—it's almost the same game. It features the same parts, but uh, uh, more shiny artwork that would fit more with Windows XP. I know the version that you know looks more like, um, well, less colors. It's Newton Mouse's bedtime, and everything here. Jump into his cozy box. Most of it here is shiny and pre-rendered 3D stuff. I mean, this is pretty cool. Oh man, the background art is pretty good on this one. They really outdone themselves if you... Well, compare it to... <laughs> Alright, I got an idea. Do it like this. More like oddballs, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was good. Oh man, the music is fantastic on this one because you got full, full CD audio. Um, the game that you know, Paul, if you look at the, the layout of this live stream, that's the Incredible Machine 1. And um, you got the Incredible Machine 2 as well, and that's the one that we played the most back in the day. We're gek van dit snoer, kan dat eruit? Dankjewel. Opgeladen ben je. Alright, the original solution. Wow! They always put in some dummy parts. Alright, this works. And this is more of a happy ending because he. he, he he has the cheese. He's, he's got the big cheese, you know. Light all three magic lamps. Ooh. I am the machine. And what I really love about the the audio, if you listen to the um, options, preferences, music, if you listen to the audio tracks, they're the exact same songs as the slimmed down MS-DOS version of The Incredible Machine 2 but they added like um, uh, um, more style to all of the songs and some of them even have um, what's it called? lyrics like this listen to this really listen to this you ready to play this game kid? then here we go picture this point Dexter pipes and things into the screen of the sling it's kind of like a dream. What I mean is you can't put it down. It's amazing. And the original would sound like this. Ah. This was in the old game. And it's the exact same song. So. Same. I'm going to I'm going to uh, show one more example. Um This one, listen to this. I know, but the game is so loud. All right, here we go, CD audio version. 
and it's gone. It's like... It sounds great! A little bit of lyrics, it really sounds like an unplugged concert. Alright, so we got three lasers. We need to fire up the lamps. We got mirrors, nine of them. That's oh that's one. That's what I like about the music because it, it the the game features all kinds of genres of music, you know? It's not that like in a racing game that all songs are the same, you know? This is like a real well, a real recording of an unplugged performance of that song that they made for an MS-DOS game. Well, good luck hanging up the wallpaper, SS Gamer. Thank you for checking in tonight. See you next week. When I play, well, maybe something more to your liking. It's called Wolfstein the Old Blood, and I'm gonna shoot the shit out of some Nazis in there. <laughs> Alright, this might be it. Original solution is like this. It's a little bit more aligned like that. Get the bowling ball into the basket. Watch out for gators. I love it how the bowling ball starts in the sun. Thanks, Alex Mack. Maybe more like this, but it will go slower. Whoa! What? Fuck physics! Maybe like this then. Oh, that's. G oh, no, it's not. Alright, last attempt. Maybe this will work. Oh, cannot do that. Alright. Who want to punch that speaker Get code? Bowling ball into the basket. <laughs> All right, I see where you're coming from with that. Maybe more like this. Finally. Mm -hmm. The mouse is riding the crocodile. Hashtag him too. So this is the anti-gravity pad. That will reverse gravity. Balloons will go down, bowling balls will go up, assuming that we're using this gravity. The Meadows of Mindy. Oi! Alright, I see what we need to do there. Haha, <laughs> Hatsi! Because it's fun like that. Oi! Oh! <laughs> Alright, the original solution. Here we go. Ah, yeah, we had another crocodile. They flipped the ball. Did you know that all of the animals in this game are named after, um, well, big names of physics? Like you got Edison the alligator, you got Newton the mouse, you got Curie the cat. Not sure what Curie is named after, Mel but is late for work, but he's mesmerized by his aquarium. The only way to help Mel get to work is to break his aquarium. All right, <laughs> the fish is called Bob. <laughs> um. 
Ah, Marie Curie. Or Mary Curie. My bad, my bad. Sorry guys, I only know feminists, not... <laughs> I don't know everybody from, from history. Oh man, I love it when Mel whistles like that. I'm just gonna do this. I'm not sure. Ah! That's what you click. What you get for clicking. Next to the window. Nay. <laughs> I'll do it their way. There's no fun in doing it like that. Man, I freaking love this music. <laughs> Marvin Gaye soundtrack. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Honestly, everybody, before we continue with the eighth puzzle, thank you guys for for always being here during the live stream because my back is been killing me for the last. Well, I barely slept last night, to be honest, and. That I get to play this right now, that I get to do this, I'm almost forgetting about the freaking itch because it's in here. It's not only on there, it's in here. Curie Cat just baked Mandrel some scrumptious muffins. So, Curie thank you. Over and bonk Mandrel on the head to let him know the muffins are ready. Alright, so that what we need to do is hit the Mandrel on his head. Familie kwaaltje, nee, 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 ik heb mijn rug verbrand dit weekend, Paul. Oh. I'm going to send you a photo, Paul. I'll send you the photo. You're not going to like this. You're not called Philip van Zorn in my telephone. This was a photo that Moxie took Saturday evening. Man, the music's so loud. I love it. All right, you got your balloon, you got the cat. All right, and we got this pool cue. I know, and it's itching like hell. Let's see. And worst thing, it's my own fault. <laughs> yeah, the deadline. It's bad. I know. Hey, Chlorfix and Letty. Good evening. The mandrel yawns. No scratchy. What are these doing there?
Oh, this this audio track doesn't loop that. Perfect. Ah! Hit him on the head with a cat. All right, original solution. Oh wow! I simplified it a little bit, I guess. Next puzzle. It's lunchtime at the zoo. Feed one mouse to every alligator in the top row. A little bit grim indeed. Wait, this one didn't have a mouse yet, I guess. Yeah. Wait, they all had one. Oh, but the one on the left. That's the only one. That was it! <laughs> hey, Tim Tim! So, this is the original solution. I like mine too. Lekker spelen, lekker puzzelen. Help Newton get the soccer ball past the goalie for the win. <laughs> wow, that artwork! Look at that! They used the meteorites from space to to and and the statue of Einstein. Or well, I always thought he looked like Marv from. Uh, this statue looks like Marv from from uh, the 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 the. God damn it! Home Alone. <laughs> All right, let's figure out a way to keep the mouse in play. I think this will do, but it will go up. I'm not scratching. I'm not scratching. And I don't need Bam! <laughs> Touchdown! All right, let's see if we can aim it on the. Um nope. Yes! Not sure what this is. It's like a real goalpost. This should be an American football player. Well, no, it's soccer. Weird, you don't have Roman statues on a soccer field, I guess. Let's see if we can fire a rocket at his face. No more parts left, so here we go. Pass the goalkeeper. Flip! <laughs> it's so hard to position this one sometimes. I know our tries. I even um, got Contraption Maker on Steam when it was still in pre alpha. That's one of the first games. I'm not sure if it was a kickstart, but if it was, then I really backed it. I don't think it was. The dreaded pirate Mel must be stopped. The mouse on the left must jump on the pirate's head to distract him. The mouse on the right must trigger the remote explosives, blowing a hole in the ship and foiling Mel's dastardly plans. Man, I love this one because I played the, the original contraption well return of the incredible machine contraptions but this is the even more version so this is a different cookie i didn't play this one well barely that's that's the thing
That's it? This one reminds me of Pocket Tanks. Pocket Tanks Deluxe. Oh man. Really soon we're gonna do another uh, Windows XP era gameplay livestream where we do all kinds of games like Bejewel, like Plants vs Zombies, like Pocket Tanks. Ah, you name it, we're gonna play it. I, I love streams like that. We need to do that again. And yes, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Hero Turtles, whatever. I love it. I played the first level with Moxie, but I haven't had time to play it anymore. Well, Ricardo, I can tell you something. I got nauseous after recording three levels and I need to redo the second one. Um, or not, because I got 98% kills somehow. Someone got away. But that was because I was playing it without audio. Because I... I pulled an HDMI cable from more than five meters from downstairs from the laptop to here because I cannot do VR in this room. So I could record it on my own machine, but that mean, meant that I didn't have any audio. <laughs> Guess Man, Peggle! The basketball that's on the bottom shelf into the basket. And what about Peggle 2 on the Xbox uh, on the Xbox One? It's really bad that they only released Peggle 2 on the Xbox One because Peggle is sublime. So yes, arthritis. I'm not sure what's your plan, but I'm in. Now we're talking about Peggle, not Peglin. What's Peglin? Oh, and yes, Zuma! Fuck yeah, Zuma! <laughs> Help the mandrel get the basketball that's on the bottom shelf into the basket. Alright, we need to figure out a way how to explode that. In the Marv face, we can fit a rocket. Look, he looks like Marv from Home Alone. Uh, yes, you got, Paul, you got the Peggle Blast, but that's like the freemium game, you know? If you really want to play Peggle, then try to play the Java version that would run on older Sony Ericsson telephones, right? Something like that. The mandrel fits in here. Blink, blink. His name is Pavlov Mandrel, of course. Wait, there's a... A pixel art version of Peggle, and nobody told me. Hector, send me a link on Discord. Send me a link on Discord. I want to check that out, and I want to check it out yesterday. Wow, a peg what? Did I'm? St it's still on my list. Recording Peggle 2 because I love Peggle. Peggle is like such a fantastic game, and it's not that easy as it looks. Thanks, Hector. Hey Timothy! Nice! That means you're you're gonna perform with Ed Sheeran anytime soon. Alright, that's not happening yet, but hit him on the head! Will this work like this? Oh wait. Put this right about there. This, that, doop. Put it like this to be sure. Is that the right ball? Yes, it is. All right, the original solution. Oh, pretty close. It's almost the same. Hansel, thank you for your company. Thank you for your beer. Have a good night, man. I do not think I've played Micropolis, no. Good to have you here. Newton Mouse and his little buddy are hungry. Feed them both some cheese and they'll be your friends forever. I love BFS. BFFs. Right. Nothing happens. We need to... Flip up the, ma the, the cheese. I think this is pretty complex. Right? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice. I think that's it. Thank you, Hector. I'm definitely gonna check that one out. Help Mel get home to his beachfront condo. Wow, look at the house. And it has bubbles. And Sebastian the Crab is here. And there's another Sebastian Crab. The music's really neat. Timothy, you're not fooling me. You're not coming to Discord. You never do. You always say that you do, and then you don't. Je haalt ons aan het landke. Not following for it anymore. I'd say that's what I wanted. More like this. If the 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 I'm not sure if it's gonna make it that far, but Oh no, he's gonna doesn't fit. been the original <laughs> solution. <laughs> we skipped the part of it. All right, running out of beer. Pavlov Mandrel wants to play some tennis, but he forgot where he hit all the balls. Can you bonk him on the head with a tennis ball or two? Uh, yes. Cheers, everybody. On to another successful, lovely Monday night of gaming. Together. So we're going to bunk him on the head with all of the... Can we just do this? Nope. Every puzzle has its goal, you know? <laughs> ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! This one needs to go here, or the other one. Not sure, I think this one. Oh man, I'd love to play Transport Tycoon with you guys. Place all three balls in the wooden box, make some wooden toast, and feed Newton Mouse a little wood smoked cheese. So, is anyone already building his own custom puzzle for me to solve? Like in 3D I did on the T Incredible Machine 2 livestream. I remember. And if you don't remember, the links to those live streams are in the descriptiones. Oh, 
I know, Ricardo. I know. Yes. Did anybody play the 3D Ultra Sierra? Sierra's 3D Ultra Mini Golf because man I've been looking for that one for years and I got it like well 10 years ago but I was looking for that on the internet years and years and years it is so cool it's like the 3D Ultra Pinball Thrill Ride and the other ones you know those are still missing on my channel wild ride in the accelerator tube that's sitting next to him whoa what's this flip flip that can be it. Flip. Then that's gonna pull down the the banana curtain. He's gonna start running. That's gonna make this move, and that's gonna make the cat do something. Um, for a wild ride, accelerated tube that's sitting next to him. So he needs to go in this. Um, then we need this. Nice! Oh, too bad, Intrinia. Oh, you blended in with the, the same color as the button. Nice. And the real solution is almost the same. Nice. Hey, Sebastian, our newest member. Duke 3D Livestream. Well, I have done one of those years ago oh. but why not why not do another one really well somewhere in the near future i mean i love playing Duke Duke 3d help no. newton make some toast and eat some cheese i do get lost a lot wow the the artwork of this is pretty good they really make greater use of the the background scenery on this one like the the aquarium over there the the things to hold up, hold up the shelves. Thanks, Intrinia. How am I gonna do this? But yeah, I'd love to do another uh, Duke Nukem 3D live stream. I have played a Duke Nukem Manhattan uh, live stream like a few weeks ago. No, if I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play the original one or the one that's original with HD resolution or something. Or higher resolution for that matter. Yeah, that's what you get for being a new member. Everybody's gonna say hi to you. Everybody's gonna welcome you. And that's lovely. Efteling music in the house. Ah, maybe. If that's why we had those three gears. I think they should do it. Ah. So <laughs> can <laughs> Well, we've seen the new ride that came in place of the old one. It's it's okay. It's the same. 
<laughs> wow, the mouse made it to the other side while the contraption, the, the conveyor belt was going the wrong way. I want to see this. Oh, this is how you need to do it. Ah. <laughs> Oh, no way! Yeah, well, we've been to the uh, Efteling like two months ago, and indeed it was gone, but it was okay. I mean... Mel built a contraption to get home, but he forgot some of the pieces. Can you complete the contraption for him? Yes. That's what I'm here for! Hmm... We got a lot of pipes. Let's use that. To our advantage... New Age music. And if I'm not mistaken, this soundtrack is copyrighted. So YouTube's gotta be a bitch about this one. But that's okay. That means everything I say right now might be muted on a later moment. Again, that's okay. Just don't say important stuff right now. I do think this is an existing song from something else. Oh yeah, the choir just jumps in. Somehow, all of it just spits religion. Boom, there you go, Mel. Hatsay! Ooh. Yana! Important stuff right now. Oh, I want to see that again. This is the original solution. Oh, it's close to mine. It's close to mine. See you in a bit, Ricardo. Feed Edison alligator that little mouse. So. Checking out this live stream, you want to be part of the family, then come on over to Discord. 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 Pavlov Mandrel is throwing nitro and oranges onto the bridge. Help Mel get home to his shack in one piece. Then bonk Pavlov on the head with a baseball for being such a bad monkey. Bad monkey! Wow, those are supposed to be oranges. They really try to put in some more theme. Oh, wow, Mel. You're almost home. Hmm. Well, let's collect, connect this to that. Let's put the rocket there. And then, hmm, let's make a walkway for Mel. There we go. Toasty! It's like my back. <laughs> Bad monkey! Fuck off! 
Newton Mouse's little buddy has been captured in Curie's castle. New music. Let Newton rescue his pal so they can feast on Curie's cheese together. Whoa, I do not really know this track, to be honest. This was not in the original and I played it a lot, so... Man, doesn't this just bring you back to the early days of Windows XP gaming? There was so much fun stuff to discover. Let's put the explosive somewhere. Right about there. Nothing happens. Let's use some cheese. Not sure if that's gonna work. Wait. Jenkins, mum. Thank you for being part of it tonight. Do not forget to join in next week when I play. I'm stuck. Clem! Wolfstein the Old Blood. Next week. You're gonna love it. I already know how it ends. Some sort of Backstreet Boys song, but without the happy parts, I guess. Alright, next contraption. Launch all of the fireworks. Sure, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Whoa, that's insane! It misses all of the explosives. If it's gonna hit one of these testing tubes, it's gonna blow up. It gets stuck in a balloon all the time. This is pretty good. Hey, Marlantje, how are you? Sebastian, welcome to the Discord. It's, it's great there. We got all kinds of channels. We share free games, sometimes you can even get some free Steam keys and you'll be the first to know when there's a, f a game free on itch.io or anywhere else. Let's connect these um, together. Maybe this will do something. Hey Vapor Zone! Yes, the incredible machine for sure! Wow, how does he miss that? I'm gonna sit this one out for a bit. Let's see what happens. It needs to flip the switch. Oh, wait, maybe I need to flip the switch. If you got a falling object, you can just put the lamp right there. I'd say that's one. Hmm, that's two, and that's three! Happy New Year, flippity motherfuckers! Alright, once more, because I just love it. <laughs> Your mission is to break all of the fish tanks. I like where this is going, yes! Look at the, the amount of bobbies! Alright, it's a symmetrical puzzle. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Do it like this, do it like that, put this here, put this there, put this at the other opposite side, like the same. Um, I know the lyrics. Marlantje, if you're wondering why am I scratching my back all the time, I'm gonna send you a photo what happened last Saturday, because it was very windy at the beach, and it was cold. Well, we left after two hours because I was playing on my Game Boy, I was playing Tetris, and I was playing Wario 2, and I was like, it's, it's fresh, I wanna go home, just sit on the Sky Terrace here, you know? But if you see this photo, I shared it on the Discord. This is how I feel right now. And I'm an idiot for not putting sunscreen on my back. So that's what's up. Maybe put these over here, not sure. 
That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hatsi, all of them. I know, the beach is a forrader. Next time I need to lotion up, I guess. Credo, have a good night. No, it's okay, man. It's really okay. So happy that you joined in. So much fun playing these games. That cheese is hiding behind 18 layers of concrete. Help Newton Mouse knock it off the screen. Yep, I got burnt, Arthritis. If you want to see how bad I got burnt, then check out the um, Photos and Selfies channel. Aladdin, Aladdin music. Do you ever take hardware donations on the channel? Well, I've never... Well, I have to think about this. I've never really had somebody donating hardware. I do have people that donated games digitally mostly, but some of them physical. But what's on your mind? I mean, I got the, the MS-DOS Pentium 1, but if you got something that will rock my world, then I'm not gonna say no. And I'll even... Like all the laptops, like all the compact P3 PCs. Mm, let's talk about that. I'm not sure if I got any purpose for them. But if you want to get rid of them, then I could help you find people. Because we got people in this community that would be more than love to take them. Maybe I'd even love to take one of them. Is that like the Windows... Wow. Is it like the, the Windows 3.1 compact machines? The ones with the, 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 the speakers, the whole PC and the monitor built in? Or am I... Oh wait, you're talking about laptops. And of course, big box games. All of them. Always welcome. Because I do collect a little bit. I... Well, you can barely see, but I just picked up a few new games. Those are not big box though. I picked up two new book, big boxes last week and I have to say uh, she's in the chat right now Marlijntje, Marlijntje um, she donated this one to me and I have it laying right here because I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this really soon but I need to do some digging I bought this one two weeks ago Solitaire for Windows 1 Euro 12 in 1 and I figured out that I got the same game exact the same game from Interplay for the Game Boy and I bought this one at the fair last week for four bucks and I like it it's not bad it's really good at least the other ones are I haven't checked out this one yet but expanding my ter my, my, my collection of big box games with kitty games I do not mind no 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 I love the unique stuff even the kitty stuff. Let's go back to solving some contraptions. Boom! Mel needs some help making lunch. Man. Open the can of soup, toast the bread, and start the mixer. They really up their game with the scenery in this one. All right, let's use the bowl. Oh! Let's use the bowl to hit the switch over there because Mel will start the fire. And with the fire, we'll start uh, power this socket. Credo, good night. Disney classics in the big box and Earthworm 3. Ooh, man, if that's if you need somebody to take that off your hands, then I'm your go-to guy. Don't worry about that. This is another song with song text, by the way. Don't drop a hog in the parts bin. And the fun thing about this music is that it is... Oh, it's not connected to the socket. It was too far away. That it is... The, the lyrics are fitting the game. It's not something made for something else. Wait, did I miss it? Do it again. Ah. 
Yes, Oscar der Balloonfahrer. Got it. The planet is about to go supernova. Help the people in the silver rocket escape. Shoot me a message, Sebastian, on the uh, Discord, and I'll. Well, let's talk about it because I'd love. Uh, I, before I, I received some packages with games, with fun stuff, with beers. People like to send me beer as well, so everything's welcome. I accept almost everything. <laughs> oh, take a close look. Wow, they did something with the gravity. Look how fast shit drops and how slow the, the rocket goes up. That's that's good. Let's see how the anti-gravity pad works. Let's see, we... Well, we need the ball right there. Power the fan. Rock that one. Connect those and then... Babidi boobidi babidi bub. We got one elastic band. There we go. Well, Sebastian, you can send me a private message. You can find me on the name of this... this Discord Gamer. No, DOS Gamer. Hatse! Supernova! Get that bread, says our Jaren. It's Newton Mouse's dinner time. Feed him some hot cheese. Alright. Oh, dynamite the cheese. What's going on with the blimps? Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Alright, that needs to hit something. Why not this thing and this fan? Um, mirror it. That will um, matter which way it will rotate. It won't always work. Put the rope. This is how you just convert like con conveyor belt thingy or belt. They're called belts. Let's have a look. Belt. God damn it. God damn it. There we go. Belts. Two ropes and ropes, 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 ropes are cool. You got two kinds of ropes, but these are the best ropes. M most used ropes. Uh, you got different scissors for different kinds of ropes. The other ones are steel ropes, I guess. And if you make a very neat box for me to receive, then I'll even make a video of me unboxing the box that I just got. Wait, 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 wait. This should do it. Hey, Mugen, how you doing? Hot cheese diggity! I'll reply after the live stream. Mel carried all of his aquariums to the ocean. Can you help him set his fish free? <laughs> What's going on? Alright, that's four of them. How are we gonna do this? Put the pulley right here. doing this is a balloon we're gonna pull that one down <laughs> I want to see that mouse explosion again All right, this one has some more satisfaction than the other one. <laughs> Is it the boy in the red shirt named Mel Schlemming? Yes, that's his name, Corey Brooks. Exactly.
Newton Mouse would sure like to chow down on some cheese. Can you get Newton to his dinner using only these pipes and accelerator tubes? Yeah, man, it's limbo time. Why you bending your mind over backwards? Put a little tap. Yeah, nice. They did this on purpose so you cannot use it because that's that's a closed circuit, you know? You cannot do anything with that. It's just a game man. More festive music. Hop, hop, hoop, hop, heep. Ah, oh, let's put in another accelerator. Then we don't need that one. Huh. Yoke, 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 yoke. Help Newton pop all of his birthday balloons and nibble on his cheese. I don't want to nibble. All right. So if you just joined in on the live stream, my name is Bart. Tonight we're playing Contraptions, which is not really a typical, typical MS-DOS games. Uh, though this one has a very, very, but very close ties to an MS-DOS game. It's from The Incredible Machine. This game is not called The Incredible Machine. To be honest, this one is called The Return of the Incredible Machine in Contraptions Even More 2001. And if you look at it, you can see that it is influenced by shiny stuff. Everything's so shiny, sparkling. And that's because this originates from the Windows XP era when that was the way to do your, well, your artwork, I guess. And it fits the game. You had the Return of the Incredible Machines Contraptions game in the year 2000-2001 and that got critically acclaimed because they had uh, been using uh, the same puzzles that they used for two other games no new puzzles to solve so that's why they always make an even more version and that's this one and I'm very familiar with the original because I played that thousands of times well, this one is new to me as well. Well, not new. I did play it, but not that much. I do like it, though. Love it. Just playing new puzzles. Boom! What's next? The other balloons. Let's light them up with... Lighting that one up. And that needs to go with... Cheese. Balloons. Get Curie to her cat box quick. Oh, welcome to the tool shed. Tim the Toolman Taylor time. Huh? <laughs> this music. Gunbound! Has anybody played Gunbound? It's... I haven't thought about that game for 20 years and now it's like... Something's going on in here with this music. They have music like this in Gunbound. Can we 
maybe hit the mouse with this? So nobody played Gumbound? I'm the only one? God damn it, I'm so young and fresh. Newton's got a hankering for some fish with his cheese. Help him break Mel's aquarium to get the fish. Then make sure he gets to eat his delectable cheese. Timothy, it is a doffa. Oh, it's an orca. Bye Man, I wish I had dolphins in this game. Ooh, nice. Um, flip the switch. I cannot see if it's connected. Yeah, you can see it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Slipgate! Oh my god, what a surprise, man! Welcome to the family! Man, we've been talking about this for... How long? Lovely that you, out of all people, are now part of the family! Nice! I mean, that deserves some confetti for you, man. Take it good. And a little bit of confetti for me as well. Help Mel Boom. launch the two silver rockets off the top of the screen. Well, I'm almost finished on this one. I'm about here. I'm gonna go downstairs and get a new one. Thanks, man. I like puzzles like these. Mostly. Oh, um, if you never really played The Incredible Machine, you got some of the parts that act different than that you thought they would. Like you have the billiards balls. You should... Well, they are from a different universe. I mean, they act from some sort of top-down view, which is a bit weird, but that's how they... they that's how they work. How does this work? Explosions. Alright, I wanna explode, explode this mouse. Give Mel a smack. Use the pulley. Well, not the pulley, but this thing. I call this a pulley. What's it called? A Rototrans converter. Well, I'll just call it a pulley. It's not a pulley. This is a pulley. See, it's a pulley. Is it gonna shine? No, it's not gonna shine. I'd say I think this is this this should do it. Damn! Why is he missiles? Twenty-nine! Twenty-eight! <laughs> Twenty-seven! Wow, uh please just start at ten, alright? Ten! <laughs> Mel's mouse buddies have been trapped in the kelp by Otto the octopus. Help Mel free his little buddies and feed them some cheese. After that, help Mel head home to his underwater bungalow and turn on his lava lamp. Whoa! This sounds like... After that, help Mel head what? home to his underwater bungalow and turn on his lava lamp. What? That's too much to do! Ooh, something's freaky. Freaky is going on with the... The gravity, as you can see. Bye, Mel. Yeah, good night. <laughs> good night, Alexander Mac. Um, put this here. Look at all of these mouses or mice. Hand shoes. This is gonna do that sometime. This is another new soundtrack, at least I think so, compared to the original, because I'm not familiar with this one. Wow, Sebastian, can't wait to, uh, to receive some photos of that, because I'm really, wow, stoked to see, oh, wrong window, stoked to see what you got there, because I do collect, I'm not the big collector, but I do love to collect 
Is this gonna do us anything good? Oh, whoa! This doesn't really feel like an easy puzzle, to be honest. Oh, my reception! Hell yeah, Slipgate! I did see it! I welcomed you to the family! Finally, you've been... Well, you've been following this YouTube channel... Well, I think from almost the beginning when I started live streaming, you've been here on and off like all the time, so... Hell yeah, finally you're part of the family! Help Newton Mouse turn on his lava lamp and find his way home! So Robert, Uncle Robert, also known as Slipgate, welcome to the family! And I even gave you some confetti for it, but I'll give you some extra confetti! Yeah, and window, and you got Windows file melding in for free. That's it. I know the hotkeys not, and I can't even be the shout out. Have long verhaal. He does it, hoor. He does it. Kijk maar. That means you need to let me know what I can make you for a shout out. Everybody from the Jazz Jackrabbit tier and up. Deserves a shout out. I'm not sure, Sebastian, you were at the Jazz Jackrabbit tier as well, so that means you are in the league for a shout out as well. If I'm not mistaken, I might have remembered wrong. Oh, the Windows 10 chimes are not annoying, they're lovely. They're way better than the Windows XP, huh? Right? <laughs> Timothy, you go to Rotterdam. Nothing happens when you press play. Let's see where we can make motion. The motion's gonna start off with either the cat or the cheese. So let's put cheese here. Cheese everywhere. Oh, that's easy. Are you at the $2, the $5, the $10, the $25 or the $50 tier? You're probably at the 2 or the 5, I'm not sure. Hey, the chat is broke. No, the chat's working. Look, okay, the chat's working. Look, it's working. Yeah, ja, lekker banana republic music. It's not gonna run forever, so it needs to be there in time. But how do I get? Oh, put the cat here. So the the mouse is repulsed by the cat. It's gonna run away from it while it's being chased by the cat. To be honest, but it cannot chase because Jesus slapped us. Up. Just Commander Keen. Well, maybe in the future. And also Commander Keen tier is really appreciated a lot because being part of the family makes you eligible to use the best emojis and one of them being me looking sad <laughs> that's enough reason to do it all right let's see if this works yeah 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 nice <laughs> Fire the rocket, feed the mouse, and help Mel get his marble into the basket. I'll put my marble in your basket. I'll just wait until next week. Next week we're playing Wolfstein, the old blood. I'm gonna knife someone in the butt, I know that for sure. <laughs> Oh man, that works so lekker for Ger. Nice! That's exactly what I wanted. Light it up! Come on! Man, this music, it's so 80s. Beep, beep. 
Hey, I do know. I think I forgot about something. Oh shit, I forgot the fan to push the mouse. There goes the marble! Up! Score. Hey Kevin, how are you? Help Newton break the fish tank. Oh, I like puzzles like this. Flip! 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 Oh my god! Oh, there's a ha! Ah, there's a wall over there. Not sure. I think this should do it. Nice job, Newton Mouse. Edison Alligator is famished. Help him get the mouse out of the maze so that he can have a zesty snack. Wow, famished. I. It's been years since I heard that term for somebody being exhausted. Why? Why does fucking Marv from Home Home Alone has a crab on his head? Whoa, this is gonna be tough. What if you put cheese all over the place like this? And then, in the far corners, we need... I need one here. I need... Yeah, I need one there. And the one there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, these are still the easy ones. I think they're pretty tough compared to the... What? Kijk naar links! They're pretty tough. <laughs> wow! Hey, welcome, Sebastian! Now you need to let me know what you would like to have as an animated shout out. Here's some examples. Here's Marty's. Marty's not here because he's been to a uh, festival this week, so he's probably out cold right now. Let the three purple balloons float off the top of the screen. Or what about this one? The Yogo Yogo one. From AJ Bavalda. Or maybe you got your own logo. Yeah, like yeah. Infrinia has. Well, you can barely see it on this game, but. Or maybe look at Della Riva, or no, Alexander Mack that's a big fan of Wolfstein 3D, he's like, I want something Wolfstein 3D. <laughs> Alright, Arthritis, he's a big fan of, uh, well, the NOD society. So he got that. And then, you have my father, my father is Dos father, and my dad has been electrical engineer for 49 years. He still is, by the way. But, um, yeah, he's into designing PCBs. Got any Duke 3D? No! I haven't gotten a Duke Nukem 3D shout out yet. Whoa, is the stream lagging or is it me? What's going on? Well, that's because of all of the shout outs. Wow. Alright, something's up with my computer. I'm not sure. Alright, Slipgate, let me know in a message. Though, do know it can take a few months for me to produce them because it's handwork. Ah, a hardware nerd with Duke Nukem 3D. I think I know enough. <laughs> But here's Coolio's! Oh man, I love that one. 
All right, the three bur purple balloons, let them fly on off the top of the screen. That's one, that's two. Oh my God, wait a minute. Is this gonna work? Oh. I want to do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. All right, original solution. Here we go. Oh my god. All right, it's kind of the same. Newton Mouse is exploring an alien planet. Help him find and enter the mouse hole. Duke Nukem one, nice. I do have this one. This is not Duke Nukem, but this is Doom. Look at this. Oh, I don't have any Duke Nukem ones. Well, I do have Duke Nukem in my um, thingy, but that's Duke Nukem 2. You're talking about Duke Nukem 3D. Um, I think this is it. No, my bad. That's Crystal Gems. Here we go, that's Commander Keen. Live streams every Monday. Jazz Jackrabbit. Blake Stone. And here's Duke Nukem, but Duke Nukem 2. Show the squirrel. All right, that was like the easiest one. Here we go. I don't make this stuff up, you guys do. Hey, Coolio. There it is again. Yep, Duke Nukem 3D is still missing, so it's welcome. How are we gonna do this? I know, gravity doesn't work like this, but if a, an object enters a pipe, it will go through the whole route. It's weird programming, I know, but it works. It works like a charm. We'll blow the mouse up, but I'm not sure what the gravity is gonna do, but I'm gonna assume that it's gonna startle the mouse. Um, man, so much. So many of these. We need more. Because we need another cafe belt. Because it's gonna go all the way like that. We probably need one over here. And because of the low gravity, it's just gonna shoot him. It's too far away. Alright. I still need to calculate to the. Clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. That's good. So that one goes clockwise as well. This one goes counterclockwise. So we got it. We don't need this third one. Um, but to have it hoover up in there and to have the mouse go the right direction. Uh, this is it. Oh, it's even slower than I thought. Oh! It's a good thing there's a wall. Hey, critics, have a good night, man, and thank you for helping me uh, next week. 
I hope you got to download even a few parts of it. Hey, Bogey Pumpkinier! Even a Space Newton insists on fresh cheese. Well, you don't say. Let's have a look at the original solution. Ah. It's about the same. Well, let's have a look tomorrow evening, if you're still awake when I get home from the gym. If we can um, set it up. Like maybe the stream key change, we'll have a look. And if not, Wednesday, but that's the last chance. Mel is moving to a new house. Help him pack away 15 tennis balls into the cardboard box. This is a new banger. I don't know this track because I only played the original. Got it. Help Curie Cat get to her box for a cat nap. A cat nap. Of course, that's what cats do. They nap in boxes. All right. Boy G Pumpkinier, so you are a big fan of The Incredible Machine as well. Lovely to have you here, man. My name is Bart, I play games like these all the time. I played the original MS-DOS versions uh, the most. But tonight we're checking out the even more version of the, mm, well, the modern version of Contraptions. Also known as the Return of the Incredible Machine Contraptions even more. And I like it already. Doesn't work. I was hoping for something like this. Yes! Hop, flip, flop! Bloop. Oh, of course, I was like, oh man, I'm an alligator short. My favorite version is The Incredible Machine 2, but I guess The Incredible Machine 3 is okay as well. I played uh, because that's the same game, but better, better music, I guess. And, um. Zampak, when you tag me, try to keep it in English because I'm not sure what it's about. I think confetti. Ooh, help Mel get home and start the coffee pot percolating. Oh, that goes the balloon. No. My favorite is unplugged and this one. Um So this one. Uh where is it? Progressive rock. Nah, this is one of my favorites. Yeah. But yeah, I've been such a big fan of The Incredible Machine for all my life. And that's why I like revisiting games like these. Joe Batista, are you Irish? No man, I'm not Irish. Nope, nope, nope. You get a second guess. Already seen the right answer where I'm from. A uh, bogey pumpkinier, are you? As well. Yeah, man, 2000s gaming music. Well, these tracks originate from the original The Incredible Machine 3. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Which is 
pretty cool if you ask me because they already recorded this for The Incredible Machine 3. That's 1993 or 90. No, 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 95. I think 1995. It's gonna pull that one, but it's not gonna do anything like this, but. Crazy Machines, yeah, but that's the German answer to this. Everybody acts like Crazy Machines was a follower up for contraptions. It was nice. It was fun to see something like that. But uh, to be honest, it's not the same. It's not quite the same because I, I don't like it. Well, I like it less. You know the exit. No, I'm not Scottish. No, 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 no. But you're getting closer, that's for sure. And I'm not Welsh. In Alaska, they use pinballs to start small fires. Or so I've heard. <laughs> A little, little twins called Schlemmings. A lot of them. In 95, in, in Dunit, Dos Dad was not 50. No, in 95, he was 45. 44. Help the mice make some toast, get the coffee pot percolating, break the fish tank, and get Curry Cat off the screen. Picture this Poindexter, pipes and things. Poindexter? Incredible machine. Uh, Timothy, what are you playing? Are you playing Roller Coaster Tycoon? Yeah, Jasper van Hoeven. Hell yeah, I played Sid and L's Amazing 2 Machine. If you look it up on YouTube, you'll probably find my video first. <laughs> I played that one inside out. Though I have to say, the way that parts work in that game, if I played The Incredible Machine too much, and I switch over to Sid and L's Amazing 2 Machine, all the time I'm like, man, how does this part work? Because all of them, they're not really logic to me, you know? They're a bit weird. Your sister was nine. Which park are you gonna play, Timothy for this? Did you know I have a full playthrough on the Roller Coaster Tycoon original game on my YouTube channel? Check it out. Took me years to record that, but hey, it's there. How are we gonna do this? All right, let's start at the mouse. It's gonna flip the switch. This is the only electrical device that we have, so the laser is gonna fire light up the fire for the oh, well the balloon the hot air balloon oh and there's a, a socket behind it so we need to figure oh my god it's gaat er allemaal mis joh we need to figure out a way to cut this rope probably like this but then we need the mouse for that so the mouse is gonna be attracted to the cheese flip up oh, yeah look and yes Oh, the fish tank still one part. Backwards engineer this puzzle. Alright, we got one rope left. This thing. Wait, there's a pulley. There's a pulley. Always use the pulley if there's. There are two of them. Welcome back, Ricardo. Fish tank is still intact. Probably because it misses the outlet by a hair. Help Newton get to his cheese. Yeah, you can binge watch my whole The Incredible Machine playlist. And be sure I'm going to add this game to that as well. Because I already recorded most of them. Almost all of them. But this one's still missing. That's why I'm playing it tonight. So I can get a little bit familiar with it. <laughs> or what about this Commander Keen shout out? Ah! 
Trying to do this a slow way, but fine. not possible this wait oh my god this is a thing this was not a thing in the incredible machine 2 nay 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 hey rick rico I know, Boogie! That was not a thing, right? I never knew that! I did, did the pipes were... T t Let's ignore that! It's not working. Fall asleep again. Get all of the... So I do think it needs to be like this. Here we go, this is it. That's not it. Yeah? Yeah? I know, Corey. I know. This is it. This is it. This is it, guys. <laughs> hey! Confetti! Uh, Udo, confetti. Is it like a new year? Hot say! Dude! Everybody's welcome in the chat. I love it when people Help talk. Mel and his little brother Angus get home safely. 
Good luck! Gives me something to reply to, you know? Oh, safely. <laughs> Alright, Twin Mel's gonna run for it. Alright, let's rinse and repeat this one. Is indeed a reference to Mario, if you look at it like that. Too bad you cannot change their shirt to green because that would have been that would have been the bomb, you know. Is that gonna do it? <laughs> Fuck. It's weird because it works on the other side, but it doesn't work on this side like that. Wait, Bogey Pumpkinier, are you the guy that just joined Discord, uh, well, like last week? Um, and you replied on one of my videos last week and uh, you were telling me that you were remaking the original The Incredible Machine puzzles for The Incredible Machines contraptions or the even more. Are you that guy? Because I'd love to see that. And if you got some custom puzzles, not too tough ones. You can send them over at Discord, and at the end of this livestream, within like two hours, I might try out a few of them. How about that? Though I need to still download them, put them in the right folder, but hey, we'll get through that, right? Curie Cat wants to eat some fish. Help her break the aquarium and open up a savory can of sauce. Yeah, man. It does ring a bell. I was already thinking, man, uh, I forgot his name. Is that, Are you the same guy? And now I'm like, yeah, he knows way too much. He's, he's in way too deep over his head within the, 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 the trivia and the, and the things about the incredible machine. So you must be that guy. I always have close ties with the community. I like to remember who's who and what's what. Doesn't always work out for me, but whenever I do, I love it. I think that should do it. Damn! Boom! Flitz! Boom! Bum! Mixer! Boom! Here we go. Saucy time. Newton's latest invention turned everything upside down. Horny Help George. him get home to his mouse hole so he can figure out how to fix it. <laughs> Horny George. I'm gonna allow that. I don't condone that behavior. But I'm gonna allow it this time. <laughs> Give that pussy some sauce. Alright, so the mountains are upside down. Nice. How are we gonna do this? Mel? Lost the child audience. Oh well. Everybody needs to figure it out for themselves. Hey Skelcat! Your brother's already Ooh, there we go. Already back to bed, but he's probably lurking as well. I know him longer than today. But everybody's welcome. Epic battle is being waged in space against the evil Lord Mel. Fire both phasers and blast Lord Mail off the screen! Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! Hit him with rockets! Alright, probably something like this. And like that. Laser here. Laser there. Lasers everywhere. Oh, I was vergeten, ik heb jou ook op mijn rug. But we need to figure out a way how to... Fire the lasers! The phasers! Mel is Darth Vader! Red rocket, alright. Alright. 
shoot him in the face! Congratulations! You just finished off the last of the easy contraptions. There's plenty more waiting for you, so go for it! Alright, I got some good news, I got some bad news. We're going to continue on medium puzzles. That's the good news. And the bad news is I'm going for a quick toilet break because I was waiting for the easy puzzles to uh, be finished. In the meantime, I got a question for you guys that you need to solve because I found this game character somewhere on the internet and this is not it. No, no, no. And you guys need to help me because I forgot from what game it is. Um, so please help me out. It's probably something from MS-DOS, but I'm not sure. Um, well, I just hope that you guys recognize it. So it's a short break. I'll be back in two minutes. And if you want to donate a bit, then the next one can be yours. So thank you in advance. See you in two minutes. Who's that DOS game in Sprite? Oh, this is a tough one. But I do think that you guys were are able to figure this one out. See you in two minutes. see some right answer oh my brother says Philip Fazon he says it's that yellowish blob thing from Command King 4 and up no it's not but I see where you're coming from with that I can really see where you're coming from with that all right did you guys know I was just checking my telephone and I already see that on discord somebody sent me custom made puzzles for the incredible machine so I'm gonna check those out at the end of the live stream that's gonna be a lot of fun, that's for sure. But first, let's see what the answer was. The right answer to what's that DOS game in Sprite? It's the USP. Congratulations to everybody that had that right. You win absolutely my respect. Nice. Let's continue on with the incredible machine, also known as the even more contraptions. Help Newton huff and puff and blow Mel's house down. Man, they really did something extra with the scenery um, because. That was extra on the Incredible Machine 2 and the other ones, but now they really put that to use. Help Newton huff and puff and... Wow. Let's see, shout out app, come on. Don't leave me now. Hmm. 
Letty, have a good night. And thank you for joining. Wait, maybe... Oh, maybe a little bit like this. Hoppa, met je huis. Bom erop. Help Mel. Help Mel blow up the nitroglycerin with his lucky baseball. Ah. Wow, the background art. It looks so Matrix-like. Pretty cool. Let's use this to turn on the power outlet. Click. Use the fan. Okay. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> this is a fun one. Put on the fan. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like he's standing on the conveyor belt. Now that's gonna make him walk. That's gonna make him walk for sure. Alright, now I'll figure out a way how to make that rotate. Maybe the reach will make it there. Mm. Will this do the trick? Oh, he's already got that. Flip those. Oh, yeah, he's gonna start to walk again. Wait, you finished eight stages of Billy the Kid Returns? Wow. Man, you should help me record that game. For on YouTube. Dragon Skull. Help Newton capture the wily and elusive cheese in the blue cage. Cheese is not blue. Ah, it's a blue case. Cage. Vapor zone. Thank you, man. I hope you're still enjoying that hat that I sent you. The DOS Gamer hat. I'm not sure where, where, where mine is. I always have it laying somewhere around here, but sometimes I lose it. Yeah, that's better. a normal rope because this this the hedge trimmers will only cut the normal rope for tonight it's okay if, to, if you throw them in general but you can put them in um, multiplayer or maybe in game discussion or I don't know sometimes it's a bit a bit tough to to know what, what goes where oh. maybe more like this Wait, got it. Help Newton and his buddies blast the two Mel brothers on the left off their lofty perches. Then rocket the Mel brother on the right into orbit. Being robbed very silently. Alright, make this guy walk by hitting him with the blimp. Though I love the blimps on The Incredible Machine 2 more because they were more poofy, you know? <laughs> the 
This one looks so complex. It's a maze. Wow. Alright, so we're gonna continue from that moment on. But how? Enjoy the piano music. Timothy is not here. Design. If you figure out that you need to hit now with the blimp, no, I. Oh, so that does work. If you wait, shouldn't he disappear from the? How are we gonna do that? Try it again. And if you don't change anything, the outcome. It's going to be the exact same. It's very Medal of Honor like the music. Ah, this one didn't open up. There we go. Man, it brings me back when I was playing this back at my mother's place a lot on my 486. Really, Mel? Are you gonna be that asshole, Mel? <laughs> I wanna see their solution. It's probably about the same. Ah, it's the same. They didn't use the magnifying glass either. They did use the fish tank, but I'm not sure why. Help little Newton and his brothers get home in time for Mama Newton's spaghetti dinner. Spaghetti dinner. <laughs> wow. Trustable. <laughs> I love it because the pipe lines them up perfectly. All right, there's something cool with it. Yeah, this is the gunbound music for sure. Oh man, I enjoy playing these games. Don't you know it? Here we go! Wait, 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 wait! Not all of them are in! I want all of them in. Oh, but that's enough. I want to see the original solution. Ah, they... Their solution is way better because... This is like lemmings! It reminds me of that uh, custom-made puzzle that wasn't one of the original puzzles that was in my version of The Incredible Machine 1. The, oh, the very first one. Yet the, the, the screensaver one with the mice that didn't have a solution. It would bounce off all the time. Do you ever get bored of that beer bottle? Well, I hope not. I just bought new ones. On, of course. The treat of The Untrustable. The shooter out this door. Nog steeds niet gekiekt. Oh, check it out at the the Jumbo, the Fomar. I'm not sure if you got that over there. But, oh, that 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 stuff is gonna make you walk on walls, man. Oh yeah, the mouse trail uh, and the wagtail, of course, of the mouse. But yeah, the trailing of the mouse. 
It was the worst when people had that on Windows 95. The alligators can swim home. Demolition Mel. Oh, you're getting all the, the cool nicknames now, Mr. Schlemming. But thanks for the beer, Untrustable. Doeg, wel trusten. Wat zeg je? Wat zei die? Dat is aardig. No, I just went to the Aldi yesterday because they were on sale. Good night, Mel. Light the fireworks to create a beautiful display in the Arctic sky. All right, Arnkel, here we go. Oof. I didn't use Edison still. There was no need for it. How am I gonna turn on that lamp? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oi, 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 oi. pretty that was really pretty Mel is so sleepy help him get home so he can go to bed <laughs> bye curie yeah don't let the energy go to waste use this to our advantage to make some power and when we have power we have total domination love it the cord is long enough but on a normal socket the cord wouldn't be long enough because it just measures from the this moment and that's what I dislike about the German game called crazy machines you see all of those cords hanging and there are too many physics doing their thing and it's like mm, it's not that good I don't know but that might be my bad opinion Set the air free! And the cat! Wait, did I just found the shortcut? Yes, I did! <laughs> the Untrustable, last weekend we missed you at the fair! Where were you? Help Newton and pals test his theory of boom boom. Blow up the two fireworks, the two missiles, and the two sticks of dynamite. 
I've been talking to Moxie the Intrustable. When we get back from holiday, she's gonna start planning how to um, start with the Doom Guy face. So you get one of these characters. Oh, that be one of those. She brought some through the to the fair. Well, work is work. We're not gonna argue with that. She's gonna. Uh, well, she still has some of those uh, custom-made artworks on her website on www.madebymoxie.nl, and that means Sonic is still for sale. Mario and Yoshi are still for sale, and some others. Not all of them are on the website yet, but be sure to check that out. www.madebymoxie.nl. And if we do not ship to your country, let me know, we're gonna work something out. This is the old theme. Indeed. This is how you get current around the corner, I guess. Because I cannot... Oh. No, we have to turn this one red. Because it only... takes red. Alright, we got two magnifying glasses left. We don't need one for this thing. We do need one right about here. We need one here. And we need one here. Do note that this does matter oh man I love the shiny things Flip. Damn. fireworks fireworks oh this is a nice Rube Goldberg contraption to spring Mel's trap fire the rocket and drop the blue basket onto Curie Cat will do Een bloemetjesgordijn, een bloemetjesgordijn. Een bloemetjesgordijn. Een bloemetjesgordijn, een bloemetjesgordijn. This is not how rockets work. Only in the incredible machine rockets work like that. Weet je wat ik zou willen zijn? Ik ben een bloemetjes gordijn, een bloemetjes gordijn, een bloemetjes gordijn. I'm not sure how this song ended up in this, but. I agree. I agree to the fullest. <laughs> Blue just for day. Up. <laughs> Help the Schlemming twins get home and light the lava lamp. Again with the Schlemming twins. Yeah. Another new audio track that I don't know. How do we get the Schlemming twins out of there? Maybe with some anti-gravity. <laughs> Playoff week in Blocker. Is it echt heftig? Want ik, ik heb het al jaren niet gezien. <laughs> Allee, welkom bij Blocker met Ben Krabbe. Laatst, recently with the pub quiz, it was a question. What is it called? And I'm like, Blocker met Ben Krabbe. How do you know that? I just know it. And I'm ashamed. <laughs> I got more knowledge that I'm not proud of. I can't help it, alright? Got a lot of it. 
like how to finish most of the puzzles of the original The Incredible Machine. Two, three, um, contraptions, you name it, whatever, I can do it. Too bad Timothy just left, he's a big fan. Not, well, not of Banker Bay, but of Blocker, I guess. He's a, a VRT fan. Aan mij weer een VRT reclameblok, hè? Who's this one? Is that? You can flip that switch. That's good. Light the 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 hot air balloon that I just placed here. Did I place it there? I don't even remember. Is it gonna take the bucket up? Yes, I think it will, but it's gonna slow it down. Alright, alright, I'll turn the mouse motor. <laughs> <laughs> we made it! That's one and that's two. It doesn't matter which Mel lives where, they live everywhere. Newton's got quite a shot lined up. Help him get to the pool table and sink the six ball for the win. Alright, this one looks pretty easy, but there's this level, I think, and I'm not sure. Bogey, help me out. If it's one of the medium or the hard puzzles, number 35 of the original game, where you had to do the pool table, where you had to sink three of them in the right one. Oh man, that's pixel precision. This one's easy, I guess. Let's do this backwards. So this is going to be hit by something, probably the ball. How do we get the ball there? Maybe with the... Me. Do it like this. Sit down, dog. Oh, don't drop a hog in the parks, bitch. You'll be forever trying to find it. <laughs> I just love watching old days. The mouse is gonna do this. All right, original solution. Ah, oh, it's the same. Nice. Bloom, 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 bloom. Help Newton activate the Jack in the Box. Whoa. This looks like no puzzle I've ever seen. Whoa. Satisfying and yet very unsatisfying because there's no structure in this all right let's see if we can get some structure oh wrong window That's how we activate the jack-in-the-box. We need wind. Earth, wind, and fire. That means this thing needs to be stuck here. Not be hit by anything else because it's gonna get hit. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, there we go. Now we need it hot. Alright, just have it fire. This, in fact, is a strange one. Here we go. Got it! Mill's stuck in the basement. Help him activate the jack in the box to get off the screen. So it's jack in the box puzzle time. Wait, 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 wait. Need to reset my layout a little bit. There we go. 
Um, but there's no Jack in the Box. We have a Jack in the Box. Focus right here. <laughs> this match is gonna make enough <laughs> warmth and power on the solar to, to power a fan and an electric motor. This is some Tesla shit going on right here. Here we go. <laughs> it's gonna work. Ah, oh, fuck. Wrong one. Do it again. All right, Tesla City. Hop. Try it again. Wait, wait, wait. I misclicked the window. That happens. Music starts over then. Help the mice spin all of their pinwheels and vacuum up Curry Cat. Pinwheels? Where are they? Whoa! <laughs> are we gonna do this? Nice! Uh, okay, um. So, who's your biggest fan? We got two fans in the building. And they're gonna fire up all of my pinwheels. Alright, let's make this mouse move. Beam. And it's gonna hit a fire... Or maybe pass to the other side, because this thing is a trapdoor. Something heavy, it will flap open. Something light like a mouse. It shall not. I'd say, welcome downstairs, Mr. Kitty Cat. Or Mrs. Kitty Cat. I don't think it should be there or here either because there's no space for it. And I do think that's the only way to power them. Wait a minute. Look at this. The cat is well animated, though I hate his smile on the ground machine too. It's got that weird, weird smile. Oh, maybe put another mouse here. When the Curie falls down, Newton. Newton's gonna run. Aw, oh, look at that cute little Newtie. Newton's commander. Suck him up. Hey, Factorio! We forgot to vacuum up Curie, a cat. Though, it was already so satisfying. Hey, Dino Pawn! I know what to do.
<laughs> a cat doesn't fit in the vacuum. But who gives a shit? Help Detective Schlemming find and break the fish tank. <laughs> well, that's not helping. Way too high. Don't throw around my schlemming like that. It sounded better in my head. Most of the soundtracks are awesome. Fell asleep. All the soundtracks are awesome. It's gonna get messy. It's gonna get very Lionel. Sorry, Mel. right there it doesn't matter because there's a pulley hey Jimmy boy hey this used to work I recovered from the shot in my hand Jimmy boy it really made me laugh when I read that oh 
Oh. Don't need the boxing glove. It's just bare fist Mel. All right, the original solution. I had you guys wonder. Oh, here we go. Oh, of course, with the pipes all the way like that. <laughs> Why did I do it the other way? With the when life gives you a flipper, use your fucking flipper. This one's faster though. But this one does put Mel to sleep. Help Newton trap Curie under the laundry basket on the left. Rocking music. Hey, boo. Let's see. Yeah, we need to trap Curie under the um, the blue basket. That one. Curie the cat. The Lopjes cat. So it's timing. Uh, well, timing, it's always timing and knowing what to do and what does what. Oh. What empties the bucket? Oh, you need to um, maybe cut the rope, but there, there, there are no scissors, so that's not going to happen. Did this the laser cut it? Well, no, the laser do not does not cut, but what you can do is yeah. flip the switch like this. Then you have power on that outlet, that's all. Then what you need is a um, laser. The laser is going to... Yeah, Nisefa. Liam Nisdan. All right, we got this hot air balloon, which is gonna get air power. Nothing happens yet. Yes. Good idea. You were ahead of me. So that bucket goes down. As you can see, oh, what the fuck's going on? This is not entirely. Yeah, yeah. This is good because that bucket lowers. When that bucket lowers, it lands on the flashlight. Right? Lands on the flashlight. You have your magnifying glass. Not gonna work. What are we gonna do with that then? We're gonna fire a cannon. That's all we can do. Cannon. cannon. So. And then you push that one up and then you push the other basket down. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Exactly. Wait, put this here. Yeah, it's a Give little it a bit. Go. Give it a go. Give it a go, yeah, but it's not. No, it's not gonna. I do think, but I'm not sure you can light it the other way around as well so it go, goes past that will have it, lo it lowered the laundry basket for a second yeah I just missed the basket shoot enter the basket that's too far away yeah exactly okay, put this here put this there yeah whoa Ah, you saw I do this, so it was not entirely good. Oh, Moxie's criticizing on 90s physics! What do we think about that? I'm a 90s kid! Don't hate on the physics! <laughs> Moxie's hating on the physics. This game needs a mod to introduce Shooting Bro Can into the puzzles. Well, I, I, I'll, I'll just be fine with like the Christmas light. But with shoot the brow can that you could put in the outlet. Put the basketball into the basket. Whoa, look at those mouths. Oh, 
A handmade shoot bro can card. Like uh, happy birthday? Happy birthday? Yeah? I don't know. Dinopon says my son was my son was asking what this game is and I want to play. So we're gonna play it later. Man, you totally should. There are two versions of this game and you also have the older one, but man, I love it that that's well, not the reason that I'm doing these live streams, but if people get like triggered to to play games like this, to catch cats with laundry baskets. I mean, at the start yeah. earlier tonight, at the start of this live stream, um, uh, Jeffrey said, also known as Rock Dad, he said, um, I just bought the full collection on GOG because you can buy the full collection. Although I'm not 100% sure if this one is in there. And I'm not really entirely sure, but did you know that this game, um, that it also was featured in Hoyle Puzzle and Board Games in 2008, the latest version. Man, I was a big fan of that. I think I'm forgetting about something. Yeah, maybe. Half the baboon see the bananas. Or the mandrill. Or whatever. Oh, but the Prats, that one is in, in, in that collection as well. At least I think it is. SpongeBob music. How are we gonna do this? Bam! Recht op je mel. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. That was good. That wasn't easy. Original solution. Oh, but that's different. Still not very easy. All right. They did a three pointer. I did like one pointer. <laughs> Help Mel get to his house and help Newton Mouse get to a scrumptious cheese dinner. Mm. <laughs> Dick Dastardly, the crocodile. All right, I hate doing this, but. <laughs> Made it to the other side. Bow down, Melly Brown. Man, I love this audio track. <laughs> I think I messed up. Oh man! They ate 
hate Mel! What happened to Mel? <laughs> Launches him back. There we go. Alright, I want to see the original solution because that's not it. Well, that's about it. <laughs> Oh man, he takes a detour. A uh, rondje for the for Zaak. Oh man, he almost burst it. Flames. Flame on, Mal. Flame on. Help Newton Mouse and Pals pack Curie Cat into that box before the post office closes. Will do. Nothing happens at the start, so put a mouse right there. And at least something happens. Let's put another mouse right here that will be scared. It's gonna power the, the thing. If it's not out of reach yet, there we go. That's good. He's on the jack in the box. Let's see if we can manage to fire up the jack in the box. Can. What can? What can I drink? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Was it in the fridge? <laughs> Count well, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, boom! Alright, clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, doesn't care. Hmm. He's gonna fall down there, right? So I'm gonna have him flip the switch so we have a l laser. To burst the balloon, so it's not in our way anymore. Not sure if this is necessary, but I do think it is. Yeah. yeah. Let's say. Cruelty simulator. Use all of the gears. Well, I didn't use all of them. Most of them. Original solution. You use all of them. Ah. Well, I put three of them together, they put two and then two, which works as well, but mine was more efficient, cheaper. With the help of those computers, Mandrill could find his way out of this desert. Oh. Turn them on, then turn the fan on for a cool breeze. Man, I wonder what the computers spell. Hello? Hey? I know, Bogey, you probably already know what the computers are going to spell out, right? The terminals! We need, we need to call them... Oh. We need to call them terminals. Yes, man, I do remember this song. This one's from the original. Isn't this from part one? The Incredible Machine 1! Not from The Incredible Machine 2, this one is from The Incredible Machine 1! I just... I didn't! Now that you mention it... Beep, 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 you. Though the MIDI thing is different. I just never realized that they remade this one as well. That's so cool! 
Hey Gerrit, how are you doing? Alright, let's keep the ball in play. Hot! Ah, because of the desert thingy going on. Alright, fair enough. Might go the wrong direction, but I'm not sure. Got it. Help Newton Mouse and Curie Cat break all four fish tanks. Then help Newton up to his mouse hole. In your heart. That's one. That's three already. Without even tempering with the, the, the solution, already three of them. Let's do this. Fire up a rocket. Uh, maybe have something. We have nothing for the rocket to stand on, but we don't need the rocket per se. If this one light up, that means we have this. That's gonna give a yank on the, um, but we're gonna do this with that rope. Uh, banana boy is gonna start running. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, really quick. Boom, here we go. Uh, the rocket. Rocket needs to go here because this is the only explosion device that we have. Something that hit that. Wait, scrap the balloon for a bit. There we go. Pretty good. That was pretty good. Fire the cannon, launch the rocket, and feed both mice. Oh, another inside puzzle. lit it needs to be lit yeah it's lit pop wel rusten. we're gonna play another hour of the incredible machine that's for sure The only contraption in this game that plays the detective song. Oh wow, I didn't know that. 
That's not many. And don't forget next week oh wow next week we're gonna play um wolfstein the old blood on the monday night live stream pop all the balloons even the hot air balloon where's the hot air balloon there it is does the blimp count as well oh it doesn't matter we're gonna blow up the blimp as well This is the weird theme again. Fun fact, did you know that the, the, the mouse that you see on the um, on the balloons, that's Sid from Sid and L. Somebody pointed that out during the last The Incredible Machine 2 livestream and I was like, I never got that reference. Just never recognized him in that. This is the original solution by the way. Can you get all five mice home to their cozy mouse holes? I like the way how Roman they are. Roman candle! Alright, that's the first. That's the second in the glorious mouse hole. The glorious mouse hole. Jumping over the fence. Blow this mouse out. It's like the Doom barrel, you know, from Doom. It, uh... That's two. <laughs> Didn't make it. One. Ah, that one didn't make it. It's getting stuck in the ballpark. Man, the balloon finishes it. 
Alright, original solution. Here we go. Ah. I like mine better. Cut the purple doggy shaped balloon free. The doggy shaped balloon. Wait, this is a doggy. I always thought that it was supposed to be a deer, but yes, it's a doggy. I know. Where can I get some motion in this one? I don't like this soundtrack. I think I just skipped half of the puzzle. <laughs> I do it again. Original solution, here we go. Oh wow. Both are pretty good. Feed Newton Mouse some cheese, open a can of sauce for Curie Cat, and get the coffee pot percolating for Pavlov Mandrel. Aladdin. Din. Too far away, god damn it. This will not work with the solar power, of course, but that's what the lamp's for. Yeah, that's what the lamp's for. Yep, 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 yep. That's why it's called Aladdin. Din.
A game called Huglies, but not Huey. I think this is a pixel perfect thing. Jake Bollen, how are you? Send me a link to that game, Vaporzone, on Discord. I'll check it out. Why don't I get this one to burst into flames? Wait, 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 maybe it... Let's have a look if this works. Pixel precision stuff going on. Here's the original solution. The Preds, thanks for joining, man. See you next week when I play Wolfenstein The Old Blood. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Help Mel spring his trap on the wily and elusive lionfish. Because I already know, because I won't be there. But I will be playing it. That's because I won't be able to do a live stream, but because I got some dedication to you guys and I cannot leave you hanging on the Monday night. I pre-recorded it, so don't tell anyone. <coughs> Mel, what's up with your gravity motherfucker? Uh, wow, I like it. All right, let's make a crossroads. <coughs> Yes, Wolfenstein the Old Blood 2015 next week. Untrustable. Four hours. Oh, three and a half hours straight of it. Up until midnight. From eight o'clock. So. You're gonna enjoy that. Ah. Oh, maybe because you're not permitted yet to post links. We always have a manual override for that. We don't grant everybody permission. Automatically, that is. I think we can do this because of the gravity, but... That's it, right? Capture the fish! Wow, I never imagined that they would use background scenery as a main objective. Got it. Bam! Alright Ace, all of the incoming blimps must be taken out of the skies. Wolfenstein 2009, yes, I know that one, and no, I I did play it a lot, but I never finished it, because play that on hard mode was pretty tough to get through, but 
it was a lot of fun but different because I didn't like the the main menu thingy where you always had to be in the city and then travel to next parts unlock next parts and then the four different powers that you had I wasn't into the power stuff somehow Wow I never this one is weird look it's a lattice archway I never really got what this was it was just like a box I guess It was a weird one, but I don't say, I'm, I'm not saying that it's bad, but I'm trying to finish up on Wolfstein the Old Blood. Maybe after that, whenever I'm, get, I'm, I'm going to play Wolfstein again, then 2009, yeah, of course it's on the list. You can blow this thing up? Whoa, I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. That's good. That's not good. That's good. <laughs> that was easy. Original solution. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could light those with a flame. Logic though, logic. Alright, how about a quick quiz question? Just for the shits and giggles, a short one, an easy one. Let's see. A... Nobody is gonna guess this one. Nobody knows who this is. Good luck. I'll be back in one minute. Untrustable says that it looks like a frog thingy. But he is untrustable. And, but he's untrustable, but to be honest, he's not that far off. Although I didn't see anybody guess which game it is. Oh, uh, Phyllis says that it's that 7-Up Cool Spot dude. No, but that one, why? That one is not on my list yet. Of Because I got like 49 of them and that one is not one of them. So, the answer to your guys, uh, to, to, to the question was the following. Who's that DOS Gaming Sprite? 
Well, it wasn't easy though, I have to be honest. It's a fruit from Jazz Jackrabbit! Oh, that no, was a bit early. Here we go. It's the one with the, the red eye. He's from episode 2 or 3. You get episode 1, 2, 6 and then A, B, C. I think he's from episode B. Another shield to brow before you get dizzy and can't find the keyboard. Thanks and trust will really appreciate it. Mel and Curie have been frolicking in the field all day. Now it's nap time. Get Curie into her wooden box for a nap and get Mel down to the moon rock he found for his nap. Yeah, it's called the Frug. I didn't make up the name. Mmm. You never played Jesse Gravit? Dude, look at that! There's Jesse Gravit. Mel's pretty impatient. Um, alright, what about we use Edison to launch the kitty? I think the other way around, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure. No, I'm not sure. I am sure. Sometimes this game really makes me want to play um, the incredible, well, uh, Sierra's 3D Ultra Mini Golf. In the far corner. So do I, Ricardo. So do I. Yeah. Good night, Mel. Sit down. Well, Jake, if you're a fan of DOS games, then be sure to join our Discord, because if we're talking about DOS games, then I cannot stop talking about them. Help Newton get home to his mouse hole so he can eat some delicious moon cheese. Alright, I'll guide him to his hole. All right, again the weird di the, the the weird gravity. Let's see how it works. Oh, too bad he doesn't. Oh, but that's good because now we can launch him. Our Discord is. Discord.dosgamer.com You're gonna love it there. Free games. Enough DOS games to discuss. I go by the name of DOS Gamer, so... I think you'd be set if you're into DOS games. Well, not all the levels, but most of them, yes. Alright, this should do it. All right, original solution. I love it to find workarounds for those solutions. Their solution is a bit slow. Help Curie Cat vacuum up the mice. Oh, I'd love to. Wow, what happened there? Oh, we got a butterfly. It's just a piece of floor. But if you extend it enough and you connect it to 
different things. Look, there's a butterfly. That's how it works. Make the peepity pow fire like an like an idiot. Shot straight in the bucket. Straight up the bucket. up the mice I'd say got them Mel's been floating around in this buoy for months first help him break the fish tank to set his pet fish free then help Mel fly up off the top of the screen Clockwise launches Mel. Mel goes up, but then Mel goes up. Did it. To be exact, this is 1959 from. Send a laser beam through the maze to activate the laser detector. Um, all right, detect the laser. I always find the laser detectors a bit lame uh, because. They, they always are dead ends to puzzles, you know, and that's... Boom! Put it there, put it there. This is the thing, you only got nine mirrors. And I'm afraid I have to use all of them. <laughs> Boom! Got it. Alright, I want to see the original. Probably the same. Yep, same route. Alright, next contraption. 
Mel was in such a hurry, he forgot he was feeding a tank full of sharks and gators. Help him get off the screen in one piece. New music. In a bit untrustable. <laughs> the bucket be like, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your horses. We had you! Het hebben van een vreemde. Ja. I the whole thing gets glitchy because of Mel being inside of the bucket. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. I don't work like that. No, no, sorry. All right, medium number 36. The mouse on the left is trying to get his two buddies home. Can you help him do it? Wow. Timothy telling me that orcas are dolphins. Hatsé, Banana Republic Music. <laughs> Confetti for me, because I like it. Original solution. Mm. That should kill a mouse, right? Oh! <laughs> 
This is the greatest challenge of Mel's intergalactic aquarium hunting career. Help him smash the aquarium and pop the balloon. Wow, I like this. Never seen this in a puzzle before. Right, probably need this here. Or this one, maybe. I think that one, because then... Put this here. Space music! Oh, that was almost perfect. Now he does make it. The tennis ball. <laughs> Mel is not gonna flip the switch. Oh, Mel is gonna flip the switch. Ball. That ball might need more help. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Not sure why, but that did the trick. Original solution, here we go. It's the same. <laughs> After the medium puzzles, I'm gonna check out some puzzles that you guys sent me. Help Mel get home to his cabin before the sun sets. What a max of light. <laughs> but plenty more to go, don't worry.
I skipped the whole electrical part of this of this mission. Hey, Alexi, you're still there. Open and eat her savory can of Mongolian beef. Alexi, are you joining next week when I'm gonna play The Old Blood from Wolfstein from Machine Games? I just want to do this. Bam! Slap the Curie in the face. A can of whoop has. Mongolian beef. Mongolia flesh. I think that's it. But this needs to be closer to the fire. Made it. Original solution. Yeah. Newton Mouse has a date with Norma Mouse. She's the one on the right. Can you help get Newton to Norma's porch so they can watch the sunset together? This is gonna be enormous fun. Those are heavy. You can uh, know how heavy these cans are. Uh, the faster you hear them drip, the heavier they are. They drip slowly, they're not that heavy. Always. Wait, if you got a lot of pieces of, of cheese, you need to put them like this or something like that. That's just how it goes with cheese levels. Cheesy levels. Alright, action. Gonna flip the mouse out? Almost there! They can spot it on more horizontal levels than you think. Oh, the itch is getting better. I just touched it, it's getting worse. Just don't think about it. small tree or one big ass fire hydrant that's for sure perfect this is the original it's almost the same nice Put the 
baseball in the bucket. Damn! Wow! recognize this music either. to put this in meaty put the baseball to see that again. Alright, original solution. I know Vapor, that's why I'm... I've said it to me. in the corner pocket for the win.
Both are cool. How do we get new to mouse to go? I'd say into the pocket. Man, this is the kind of music our parents listen to. Fucking Aero Classic Rock. So nostalgic. Such nostalgia to music like this. And these are just sound alikes of music from that era, that vibe. If you're checking out this live stream and you haven't hit that like button yet, then please do. It's not so I can brag to my friends how many likes a live stream got. Because that's not what I do it for. I just do it to grow in the algorithm. And if you like it, if you like what I do during a live stream, Maki Boschmanot, I'm doing this every week and I'm not gonna stop doing it because I enjoy it way too much. Thank you, Vaporzone. That means a lot. I, t I try, I always try to give it my own spin. Try to be unique out there. As long as people like what I do, I shall continue doing it. Because these live streams, they're great, man. They're like a great exhaust for me as well. Boom! In the bucket with you. Flip him up. Flip, 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 flip. Where did the mouse go? Mousey! Alright, let's check out the original solution. Ah, uh, it's the same. Edison's tummy is growling. Pop the balloon, get the coffee pot percolating, and then feed Edison a zesty schlemming snack. A schlemming snack. It sounds... Horrid. Horrid, horrid, horrid. I was thinking about this, but we got nothing to... to get him out of that corner with. Connected to that fan. This thing. Only got two of them, so it's probably the right way. How do we get that to spin? This should fit just right above the balloon. We need something to cut the... We cannot cut the rope with... The... Oh, wait! With this one! Rope and steel cable. So this one cuts through everything. That's... Okay, I guess. Alright, let's have the mouse cut it. Alright, good. Then we need this fire. Alright, that one's lit. Now get it to the other side. Question, what would you guys think if I do a live stream where we would spin a wheel, two wheels at the same time, Moxie would join me on the live stream and uh, the, li the wheel would pick a version of The Sims, like I'm gonna play The Sims 1 and she's gonna play The Sims 4 or 2 or just whatever the wheel picks and then let's see 
at the end of the live stream who became the most successful. Well, at least, which sim? It's working! But something went wrong. The balloon. Dude, I'm a big fan of Sims 1. But then you'd be able to see her screen and my screen at the same time. I mean, that could be fun, right? We'd be some sort of competing, I guess. Moxie's... I, I think... Well, I haven't seen Moxie play The Sims a lot, but I do think that she's pretty good at The Sims, but... I don't think she's played The Sims 1, so I hope for her that she's not gonna play The Sims 1. all five fish tanks! Alright, if you guys are up for that, then why not? Ah, there's a bloemetjes gordijn here. A bloemetjes gordijn. There's Marv from Home Alone again. A bloemetjes gordijn. The background's like a bloemetjes gordijn. And the chat can set goals for, for your sim. Well, let's think about how to implement that on a way that it's fun and easy and like we think of a way that you guys tell us what to do like go out or stay home get a new job i don't know that would be fun but of course not f that everybody gets the rent in the chat like some people get somehow needs to be chosen to <laughs> to pick something i don't know i think that would be cool though we need to think of something for that. Mmm, bloemetjes gordijn. to think about something for that but it, that that could work i guess or a pole thing that's that's cool also the mandrel has vowed to help newton mouse get to his cheese a bloemetjes <laughs> gordijn That's the thing with these things, the distance. They're not like ropes. I forgot. To use the fan. <laughs> Show the hint. The mandrel once explained to me that you don't necessarily have to be on top of a conveyor belt to use it. He also explained that keeping a banana under your armpit will keep it fresh during winter. Mm. Mm. Bah.
Bananenrepubliek muziek, Tropico. Yeah, it's the same. Help Newton get to the bottom bunk bed and help Mel get to the top bunk bed. Newton to the bottom. Which are the bunk beds? Oh, these are the bunk beds. Nice. Bye, Mel. place where to bomb this part so we could get fucking Newton to move just put it under the bucket He was already sleeping. Volcano Man is hungry. Help Mel prepare some gourmet coffee and toast. Make sure he lights the hot air balloon too. That background made of rocks. That's Volcano Man. Man, what did they? Why didn't they use the background? Shit, on the original, like this. Cooler Jesus! No, that's not right. This is right. Oh, wait a minute. We could... Eat the coffee pot. With the... We don't have any pulleys. Thank you, Boo. Max? Look like a boss fight. Mel almost hit it. Let's make it burn toast. Look how he was re responding to the coffee pot. We did light the hot air balloon, right? Help now prepare gourmet coffee, toast, and light the hot air balloon. Wait, I did all three of them. Look. The hot air balloon, the coffee, and the toast. Maybe they don't like burnt toast. Oh. 
wait! It's the... Alright, so that matters, I guess. Oh, they did it differently. That's just bread, like, warmed. Mel and Newton are trying to escape from the swamp. Help them exit the right side of the screen. <gasps> Do you see the bat over here? If you make your own puzzle, the bat is not available for you to use. And in the original campaign of The Incredible Machine 2, 3 and the original Return of the Incredible Machine Contraption from the year 2000, it's not in there. Boris the Bat, I'm not sure if he's called Boris, I see people call him Boris in the chat, so that's probably right. He's only available for your own custom made puzzle when you play this game on the date of Halloween. So if you reset the date of your computer to Halloween, you get to use this one. Exactly, boy, <laughs> bogey pumpkin ear. Oh man, I thought I was the only one who knew shit like that, but then I meet you. Lovely to meet you, man. I hope you stick around for more live streams because I'm doing them every Monday night except for next Monday but that's because I'm on holiday which is okay which is gonna be pretty much fun and that's why I pre-recorded it for next Monday It is some sort of easter egg, yes! Yeah, he's Mel. We're going on a holiday to Greece. But I hope... I hope my back has healed by then. Gonna stay out of the sun with my back, that's for sure. What are you doing in my swamp? Get out of my swamp, you kids! I will check that out, Sebastian. I really check that out tomorrow. Uh, you'll have a reply. Thank you for being a part of tonight's live stream. It really means a lot because playing these games on my own is the best thing you could do in the world. But then playing them with you guys together. That's fantastic. That's really fantastic. It really means a lot. Oh. The bat can be awakened and it's gonna fly off random. Mouse is out. I don't think I'm able to remove the cheese. That's it. Mel and Newton are out hunting fish tanks. Help them break two fish tanks, but make sure Mel gets back to his cabin and Newton gets back to his mouse hole. He's going to run over the cheese. No, he's not running. Oh, 
Well, that's okay. Have a nice neck, Edison. Good night, Sebastian. Really enjoyed your company tonight. Alright, that's one. I'm gonna blow away the mouse before he... Are we gonna get him to the other side with this? And the unplugged track. I hate the dynamites, they always slip and slide all over the place. Oh, this is good! Look at this! Can you imagine, we only played the easy in the... and the medium puzzles tonight. Can you imagine what the hard and the and the difficult levels are gonna be like? I'm, I'm gonna finish them, that's for sure. Oh, that wasn't pretty. Let's try this again. We just blew him straight up Edison's face. Left Edison. Left Edison. No, 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 this is medium. You still have hard and then difficult. Getting stuck. Almost there. I think that's... Thank <laughs> you. 
one of the conveyors is wrong. No, they're not. I don't think so. I think they're all spinning the right direction. It's okay, Vapor. I think that the dynamite is heckling us. Here we go. Try it without the dynamite. Maybe that helps. That's not bad, the ramp. Aye! All right, the real solution is Ah, that's what the dynamite's for. This would be one of those puzzles I spent all night playing when I was like freaking 10. You've made it to the Contrapology 101 midterm exam. In order to ace this test, get the hot air balloon off the screen, fire the rocket, get Pavlov Mandrel walking, fire the laser, and open a can of sauce for Curie Cat. We're gonna start with the bike pump. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Fire this, then we have to attach the rope and connect that to the matches. So this... Rocket will go up and is this gonna work? I think it is. I like this. Music man. Hold the mice that way. The mouse. Have it. Turn on the mandrel motor. Um. No, that's not what we're gonna do. It's the other way around. Connect that to this, have this turn on the mandrel motor. The mandrel motor will power that. We could have done that instantly, but probably this distance is too far. There are a few hints. Oh, I know that after this one, when you get to hard and expert or difficult, no more hints, no. I got two mirrors. Well, that's good. So we can solar power this. It's the only light source that we have besides the. We could have done this! Fire the laser, we have to do everything, so no shortcuts on this one, I think. We'll just do it with the laser. I think we're almost there, so. Man, honestly, the Aladdin's lamp, the genie lamp, the Jin Jin, that one is tough to, 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 to fire with a laser. Fire the laser! 
All right, you've solved all the medium contraptions. Time to head for the next level. Confetti for butt. All right, listen to this. I'm gonna start some music here for you. All right, listen. Underforced. We got. We just finished the easy and the medium puzzles, which was pretty good. Let's check out because I just received some messages from you guys with custom made puzzles. And I got like. Um, let's have a look over here. Go to the private chat. I got a few from Professor Tim. He just sent me two of them. And I'm just gonna put those in my game folder and see what they are about. Alright, let's see. Games. Even more contraptions. Um, homemade. Put them right there. Why not? I'm not sure if they're any good. And I'm not even sure how to play them. I mean, how to load them. Let's have a look. Uh, I need to read that later. I got a fake promotion. Spam. Thanks for the spam. Let's have a look. Vapor Zone. You sent me the... Yeah. The Hubie. Surely gonna check that out. Oh, I got something from Smash Dash. And put that one in as well. So I just received three... Custom made levels. Oh, and I see that in general that bogey puts some in as well. I'm gonna save those. Hope I don't overwrite them. I'm just gonna save all of them, put them in my game folder. So that means that I probably will not always know who made them. I have to rename this one because it has the same name. Alright, put like I need to put in four more and then I got all of them. Thank you guys in advance for already sending me those levels. I never had so many custom levels being sent to me. So I'm going to check them out. Now, <laughs> it's going to be a real challenge. Sure, not letting Mr. Dos down. All right. I put them in my game. Stop the music. Main menu. Yes. Main menu. Um, load. We're gonna start with the upper one. Ah, I got it twice. And now that means I need to. I'm not looking at the solution, by the way. How does this work? I'm not looking at the solution. Test run. Okay. Wait, can we just do this? Yeah, I'm, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Oh, yeah, just have to... Oh, and then homemade. My bad. My bad. But honestly, I didn't. I didn't look at the answer. Here we go. Power. I couldn't really be on the stream, but I made this puzzle for you. Your objective, put the baseball in the crate. Honestly, our starting point. That's not the way, because you got this boxing glove. We need Mel to walk this way. Oh, wow, there's a square around the square. You can see that. Shoot the ball in. But how do we get Mel to walk? By setting off the explosions. How do we set off the explosions? By getting this ball right there. Oh, oh do this. Oh, wow. Bam! Alright, that's good. Baseball in the crate. Wait, go back! 
Delete this! Delete this! I did it! Right? I did it! Somebody in chat said Rico chat. I was like, all right, let's try it. Try this. The original solution. Here we go. Oh man, I feel like such an asshole. I feel like such an asshole. <laughs> all right, Professor Tim. Shout out to you for making this puzzle. Thank you, man. Let's load up the next one. Load puzzle. Laying down a blunt. Ricochet. I always say Ricochet, but it's Ricochet. But it's Ricochet. Ricochet? Ricochet. It's not easy. Alright, so we got that falling ball. We need to put the baseball in the bucket. That's this one. That's not. Oh, that is a baseball. This is the baseball. Sorry, Curie. <laughs> All right, the original solution. Here we go. Fair enough. That's a bit cooler than mine. Breaking down the wall. Here we go. I know what to do. This, 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 this. Boom. Wait. This is nasty. Thanks, Speedy Matt. The candle to slow it down, I think. Ooh, 
I think we're on to something. Hey, that's how it works. Um, I had to switch them. All right, let's look at the original solution. Yeah, it's the same. They, you just use the fucking candle just to slow it down. That's 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 like evil. That's really evil. Uh, load next one. Gotta do a few more. Bucket depot. Oh, a lot of gears. That really grinds my ears. Oh shit, got so many parts in the par uh, parts bin. Sound issues? Not as far as I know. My name is Bart, I do MS DOS gaming or games alike because. I mean, come on, Contraptions is really close to real MS-DOS gaming. I mean, it started there. And I do that every Monday night. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Deliver the bucket into the cardboard. We got no scissors. That means we need to pop the balloon. How can we pop the balloon? We can pop the balloon with something sharp. Put it on there. Now we need something sharp. We don't have anything that is sharp. That means we need to get the balloon to the gears. Alright, but how do we get the gears to rotate? Gears are sharp in this game. Wait a minute, there's something up with the graffiti though. No, it's not, my bad. It's just pulling down the balloon because of the weight of the bucket. Physics part, come on, physics, real life physics. Man, this is not easy. Alright, that's working. That's working. But now we have to figure out a way how to cut the rope. How to Frick, do we do that? That means we need to deliver the bucket into the cardboard box. Ooh, pop the balloons. Use Aladdin's lamp. Oh, yes, but no. I was I was thinking about using the gears for it somehow.
<laughs> yes! <laughs> wow, that one was good! Alright, original solution, here we go! Oh, wow! Wow! I didn't see that one, no! Curie Cat is babysitting Mel. It's pa Oh, that's difficult number one. Um, all right, I'll just do one more homebrew. Curie Cat is babysitting Mel. It's yeah, past yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Pirate life for me. Here we go. Fire the cannon off the port bow. Zeg je? Ja? Ah, oh, je kan niet blow up dat piece of ground. Let's have a look, sees. The bowling ball falls through the... I forgot that the walls in the sand do not break. Yes, absolutely. Hi. Oh yeah, no, yeah, sorry. I didn't see what it was. All right, I'll read the hints. Curvy dog balloon be in the way of me phaser range. That's a good tip. And the other hint states this here basketball can't fall in the sea or else it is it as it's as good as the sunken treasure. Let's figure out a way to keep that one in play. I like it how the tennis ball has such effect on a basketball. Yeah, no. Because I need to ah I think I'm there. This is it. Yeah, almost. <laughs> I think 
think this is the original way. Damn! Not bad. Alright, that was the last puzzle I'll be doing for today because we've done over a hundred puzzles. But before we shut down this live stream, has anybody ever heard of another game? Wait, start some music. There is this game and I need to add this to my I want to play this window list. Because if I do not, it's gonna not run windowed and we do want this to run windowed let's have a look i got it right here and i forgot to test it what else is new and this one does feature contraptions not the even more version well, i'm not even sure which one of the two is in there might be the even more version but it might as well be the original version all right stop the music open up Ah, yeah, that was it. It wasn't working because it's missing the... Ah, that's too bad because I do have it here. Well, you got the Hoyle Puzzle and Board Games and that one should feature... Uh, well... I got one here, but that one does not feature contraption, so that's too bad. But let's have a look at it anyway. Change the game to this. Here we go. So this is a thing from Sierra as well. And this, uh, you can clearly see it's from the same developers. And this game makes you want to play parlor games or at least Hoyle puzzle and board games. Yes, with Marvy, Marvin, Harvey, Roswell. Wow, you know this. Well, then have a play. With red right now. Go ahead and jump me. You know the rules. I don't want to jump you already. So you're going to jump me. Alright, double jump. Oh shit, that's not a double jump. That's a double I'm jump. Happier than a corn fed cow. I'm helping him. I'm I'm just helping him. Oh shit, I'm gonna lose this one big time. I'm strapping on the bit Ah shit. <laughs> Nay. Nay. What happened? Oh. Boygy Pumpkin here, I can't wait, man. I'm messing this up. Brand. Don't keep me waiting. Where's my crown? I'm not worried about your king. Lay a crown on that rat. And go on. <laughs> you got double trouble. You got double. 
Oh shit, I messed up. This is better than That's how you lose. Friends. But the one that I love most, that's this one. That's one of my favorites. Here we go. There's Marvin. Alright, one, three, five, six, six. Uh, I'll just go for sixes. Four, five, six. Alright, I'll just... I'm hoping for a three and a two. Nice wrist action. You know how to roll those dice. I know, baby. Only it's a four straight. I was hoping for a five straight. Look, socks. I don't care how the computer plays. Mario's game gallery. Um, isn't is that for DOS or is that the one for the Nintendo DS? Yeah, but I'm a big fan of Yahtzee. He's gonna do it! Jack's gonna do it! Oh, thank God Jack's not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, some people call it Yacht, the other ones call it Yacht Z, other ones call it Zilch. Hi, Nico. Good evening, man. Hoppa, I'm leader of the match. Two, 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 two! Do it! Do it! Ah, oh, damn it. So how this work? Uh, you can throw three times and you. set apart I some of the dice great. and you need to uh, get the most of the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, the fives and the sixes. And of course you get the four of a kind, the full house, which is two by three or three by four, uh, three by two. Or uh, the four straight, the five straight, but if you got the four straight like I do, then it's gonna be a tough time getting the five straight. And then you got the yacht, which is five of the same, and the choice is something that you cannot place, something random, something you just messed up, or just if you got that one uh, as last, then you're a lucky man. I've seen some ugly things before, but your dice take the cake. Oh, yeah, you can insult them, like, hey, Chloe, you're a bitch. Chloe, grow up. Hey! That was just mean. Jack, I love you. You really seem to know the secret of life, Jack. Thanks. Boy, you're gonna give me a big head. You're the hippest dinosaur I know, Marvin. You know what, human? You complete me. Well, Nico, we just stopped playing because we've been playing it for almost... Straight. Those 30 points are gonna come in. One, handy. two, three, four, five. I got the five straight. Boom! <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. Instant straight, that's why well, you, you build up your Hoyle bucks at the bottom of the screen. With those bucks you can uh, buy stuff for your avatar, like this. <laughs> like Mr. Potato Head. It's fun to do, but it's useless. But yeah, you miss like most of the uh, <laughs> contraptions or the incredible machine part of this live stream. Because uh, we're playing it for four hours straight. One great roller. I'm done. Nice dice. 30 great points. You do the math. Alright, Marvin, do your thing. Human Dino Romance. Oh, he's going for once. Yeah, that's worth nothing. Like, at all. I'm gonna collect these. No, I'm not, because a full house with twos and threes. Some of the games you play Yahtzee, you get um, the amount of points that you collected on your dice for a full house. But on other games, they just have a set amount of points, like 20 or 25 points for a full house. So I'm going to do it like this, full house. You need to rethink your rolling technique. Are you how you back out, Fent? Hoppa, I'm gonna put that on my choice. Could have chosen to put that on my trees as well, but that was like a one, two, three risk that I just took. Oh, Speedy Matt, that's me. 
I like to, well, the other way around, I like to put down a card, like, can I get all of your sixes? And I'm like, acting like I'm putting down a card. And then, when it comes to I ducks. didn't have any. So I'm doing it the other way around. Everybody's like, I got it right. No, he did not. Ooh, yacht o rama Fucking Jack. Yanaruski. Nice one. Fucking Jack. <laughs> what Fucker. did I do? <laughs> Jack, you're nothing but... I thought you were nice. Boy, was I wrong. I know. Don't throw Yahtzee with sixes. This is rubbing it in. Four, four. Stinks worse than my gym shoes. Oh, she almost had the Yahtzee. All right, let's skip through this a little bit quicker. Jack, I'm tired, man. He's going for a full house. Oh, bad roll. Nope. If I hear one Barney, he already has filled in his choice, so he's gonna put this on ones or threes. Yeah, but he just has no choice. Literally, one, two, three. Four. Five, five. I'm just gonna stick with fives. Come on, baby. Oh, that's another straight. I don't need the freaking straights. Two fives. Two fours. Uh... I just put in one one. She's gonna go with twos. Oh, damn. She's unlucky. Jack's gonna win this thing, big time. Oh, he had a four of a kind with twos. That's not good. Gonna stick with fives again. Here we go, last throw. Ooh, what are you gonna do with that roll? Are you back, Chloe? Ik weet het. I think I'm better at be battleships, though. Not the role I was hoping for. Jack's juggling with K. No. Punch the dino. Marvin. Marvin. I will blow, blow it. I wish. There you go. Marvin. Blow it at your ear. I thought we. I wish I could roll like that. Three. That roll could haunt you. Oh, you mount. Another straight. We're not getting our top bonus because if you got more than 20, 62 points at the top part, until the sixes you get a bonus, 25, 30 points. But you only get that if you throw three of every one at least. Average. So if you don't make more than three ones or three twos, and you still have like six sixes, somehow like your second Yahtzee, or you're like of course putting my I'm Yahtzee behind. there, I'm a then you're lucky. Then you're just gonna even that one out. All right, Marvin's gonna go for it. Three fives in his first throw. Just where to Fourth five. He's gonna do it. I am rolling those balls. He's gonna put this on Wait a four a of a kind. Look. Four of a kind. Yeah, of course it's gonna put that on a four of a kind because it's gonna add an extra six to it. Six, six, six. All right, I'm already pretty happy with this. Too bad we didn't throw any more sixes. 
I don't think we get our top half bonus, but hey, we tried. Come on, Chloe. Being in the lead is like... Being in the lead is like what? That's because he's got his yacht. The yacht is 50 points. I'd like to That's give that... Intensely tough. I was this far behind... Because throwing that is like one out of five games. You can do that. I'm gonna aim for the four of a kind and I'm gonna try that with fives. Alright, with threes. Concessions. What an awful throw you made. How are you back? That means we didn't get points for the four of a kind because we didn't throw want, it. But at least I'm consistent. No, the music's very on spacey on all of them. It's the same. It's um, it's okay, but it's not the best. So you're not the only one thinking that. Absolutely not. Shoot Marvin! Ah, shit, he survived. Three more throws, then we're out. A full house. Uh, four, four, two, two. It's not the best, but here we go. 14 points for a full house. Better than nothing. It's not bad at all. to throw twos and ones. He's like a legend. He's throwing like the highest Never score fails. you can. The yacht shows up and I... Oh my god, he throws a yacht with ones. That's just showing off. There's no need for that, asshole. He's throwing more yachts. Alright, last attempt to throw a yacht. We're gonna stick with fours. We're gonna do it with the fours. Come on, force us. Not gonna happen. Last, last throw. Ha! Huh. Full house. Boom. Zero point on the yacht. I know, Speedy Man. I know. I believe it. That roll sucks. If you're checking out this live stream right now and you're not a member of our Discord channel, then be sure to join on discord.dosgamer.com. We got free games. We discuss all kinds of games. We share everything. You can even share a photo, a selfie, or introduce yourself, or just ask for help, or share something if you have... And now... ...been developing a video game yourself. Who knows? We got all kinds of topics to talk about. You can even share your favorite dish. Just be sure to stick to the, to the right channels and we'll be just fine. And it's free. And we even have MS-DOS Gaming Radio. I forgot to share. I always win. Well, there it is. Almost always. Okay. Discord the DOS Gaming 24/7 uh, DOS Gaming music. I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is that I love Maxime. The bad news is that this is the end of the live stream. And another good news thing is that I will be back next Monday. Next Monday I'll be playing Wolfenstein. The Old Blood, which is the um, sh standalone expansion, which is a bit shorter than the other one, uh, the, the the New Order that came out a year before, but man, it is something. It's very cinematic, it's very cool, and it's really, but like, really worth checking out. So I hope to greet you guys next Monday. I might seem a little bit distance next Monday but I'll explain when the time is right everybody thank you for joining in on tonight's live stream because I really enjoyed it I wouldn't have been playing the even more version of the contraptions game because I've been very familiar with the incredible machine one two especially two and three the original return to the in return of the incredible machines contraption from the year 2000 2001 and now you got this even more version which I really well it crunches my brain a little bit here and there. I get tickled. And that's 
only on easy and medium mode. Can't wait to see what the hard and difficult mode have to offer, but we'll see on the next livestream when we play that. Everybody, thank you for tonight. Thank you for being a part of it. Really means a lot because it's fun playing games with you guys. And thank you guys for sending custom made levels. That was really a nice addition to this livestream too. And the, the, the gameplay with. So have a good night and see you next time. Or come on over at Discord and hang a little bit.